Hey everyone, just dropping in before the episode starts to let you know about an awesome promotion we have coming up with longtime fan of the show and beloved game streamer Rob, aka Choctopus, and our friends at BossBattles.gg. They reached out to us and said they want to design a limited edition Tadpog t-shirt and they want to sell it to you. So there's the boss battle. Boss battle GG does have like a very talented artist, and he's working very hard, like right now as we speak, to make a T-shirt that's unique to us. I mean, you know, Troctopus has been on the show. He knows us. He listens to a show. He knows our vibe. We got our input. Uh, so they're gonna make something unique to us for you, and we don't want anybody to miss out. So we're really excited that you know they reached out and have an awesome project that we're gonna be a part of. So we're. Yeah, I can say we're genuinely very excited to share what some of the final product is going to be with you guys. And we were like, hey, we like our Patreon donors so much that we publish so much content on Patreon. <laughs> and they were like, well, hey, we can work with that. Uh, we can come up with some special incentives for your Patreon donors. And we were like, that's great. So if you are donating to the show currently or interested in donating to the show, please visit www.pisstasters.com <laughs> and you can do just that. <laughs> Get in on the shirt incentive. Type in a fun URL that will definitely get you fired at work or at least have a conversation with your HR representative. If you are at work, you can also visit patreon.com slash tadpog. Uh, and once we have all the details on uh, exactly what the fuck's going on, um, we will let you know. Uh, we're going to try to keep everybody fresh on all of this crap by uh, my crap is good stuff I mean crap it's crap it's though. good stuff but it's I mean crap. <laughs> but I mean we're re- you know we're it's good crap. It's, it's, it's good crap, crap. we be crap. crap in a millennial way where it's like yeah <laughs> right yeah exactly um, you not, can, not a boomer way not a boomer way uh, not in the it's your shit it's my stuff kind of way it's just it's all just it's all just shit yeah. everything like a woot bag of crap that's right uh, so we'll let you know. We'll let you know uh, what's going on each episode, and also you can join the Discord. We'll give you details there. That's bit.ly slash tadpog Discord. We'll come up with a fun URL for that, I'm sure, uh, at some point in time. Uh, and this will be a limited time shirt, limited time. So get your little T-shirt envelopes out. Put a little money in there. They're gonna be super expensive. So like, really save up for this. <laughs> really save up for it. And then just kidding, not gonna be that expensive. But they are gonna be limited time. So essentially, when they go live, just buy them. That's it. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell Hell yeah. yeah. (laughs) You're about to listen to Tadpog. Tyler and Dave play old games. It's a comedy video game podcast. We would like to stress that the hosts are not experts and are really just very crass commentators. Seriously, this is an explicit podcast that happens to talk about video games sometimes. So please enjoy this pretty okay podcast with Tyler and Dave. All right, so before we start off, we'll go ahead and go over upgrades of the turtle van that happened in the the skippable time before we actual actually start. So what Link went and talked to Randy about and the pieces he could get and the money that you have. So you have 7,292 gold pieces to spend on turtle van upgrades. So here's everything that you can get. So you can get a pizza launcher that will go to the, it will mount to the back of the van and it can turn 360 degrees. Uh, It fires a special subspace pizza that does half force damage, half fire damage, does 2d10, a 60 foot range, and holds five pizzas at once. So whoever's operating it uses their ranged attack. Uh, What's those, however many pizzas it can hold her out, it takes a full round for subspace to cook another pizza to load into it. Uh, that to cook up, one other pizza or to cook, reload with full to all cook five? one. Oh, just do one. Okay. Yeah. But it starts with five. Starts with five. Okay. Uh, that upgrade is a thousand gold pieces. What's the range on it? 60, 60 feet. 60 feet? Okay. Do um, skills apply to increase range? Uh, if it's like a feat you have, yes. Okay. I can do that with Eldritch Blast. So I can do 2d10 plus eight with a range like 120. So 
Let's hear the other mm. options. I want to throw that out there. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to spend a <laughs> thousand on it. Uh, let's see. The other, you can do a a launch door. So that is basically on the turtle van toy, the side that opens up mm. that has a stable platform and a chair. Mm-hmm. So like suicide it, door. It yeah, it comes out and someone can stand there. Um, and it's it's reinforced. It comes out with some force. It's reinforced. It's stable. Has mounts for someone to stand and be mounted if they want to be strapped in, or a chair that is stable. And it comes with an option of adding a weapon. But adding the launch door is a thousand gold pieces. That's nice. I'd prefer that over the launcher. Uh, you can add a battering ram. Uh, the battering ram is base five hundred gold. If you want to make it silver. Uh, or have basically like, like silver spikes on it, that would make it a thousand, mm-hmm. or you can give it adamantine spikes for three thousand. Although adamantine, I had to look it up how adamantine functions in 5e. So it's good as armor, uh, it's not naturally magical or anything like that, but it negates all critical hits. Uh, as a weapon, uh, which I'm going to house rule it to where an adamantine weapon can deal critical hits to adamantine armor. I feel like that makes sense. That's not in the raw. Um, but adamantine autom- against objects deals automatic critical damage, as long as it's not adamantine. And that's uh, 3,000? 3, 3,000 for the adamantine, 1,000 for silver, 500 a silver, for base. A silver-tipped could, battering ram could, could, some wolves. could handle some <laughs> werewolves <laughs> yeah, really. with, with haste, I think. I might... I, I like that. Adding that to my wish list on this one. And then once we're done with the werewolves, then we can get the adamantine upgrade. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Uh, Let's see. A retractable roof with a raising and launching platform. So the whole, like a full size moon roof can retract all the way out. You can launch something or someone out of it like the turtles could, uh, or it just raises somebody so they'd be standing on outside on the roof. That's 750. I can think of a good use for that with uh, you, Benji. Mm-hmm. Yeah. From your ab- attack from above thing. Yeah. I'd yeah launch and jump. That'd be awesome. That's Let's a cheap see. one, too. Mm-hmm. Alchemical side guns. Um, those mount, you could have one of those mounted to the suicide door or to the the both front sides of the turtle van. Uh, but those only turn 180 degrees. Uh, they're 1,000 <laughs> each. And they hold each hold five rounds of some kind of alchemical ammo. So an alchemist fire, a tanglefoot bag, anything alchemical in nature can be loaded into it and fire like a weapon. What kind of um, what kind of action is it to use this stuff? Is it like a standard for each kind of deal? Yeah, it's an, att- an attack action. Okay, okay. You'd have to have whoever whoever on operating those. Or I guess however many however many attacks you have is how many things you could fire. I feel okay. like that probably makes the most. Can sense. the driver only do these things, or the dri- it had to be a passenger to fire those guns? Unless the driver's not actually driving, then they could. What about okay. the ones on the front, though? The front, it would have to be like a, the front passenger. The front passenger would control those. Okay. Yep. Okay. But otherwise, the other stuff, like I'm assuming, if you're the one near the door, you could use your action yeah. to activate that kind of deal. Yeah. Okay. Uh, side cycles. So it has subspace summoning sort of adhered to the side, and you can have up to two side motorcycles that can detach from it uh, that are 1,500 each. Uh, Nothing particularly special. They're just detachable motorcycles. Uh, You can have an armored sidecar on it for an extra 250. Mm. Uh, A canister launcher. So it sort of it fires it back. Uh, It'll launch it out 20 feet safely. Um, and that's 500 gold, and then it has three available canisters, which are the three different canisters you could buy in the toy line. Uh, a, laughing ga- a laughing gas canister, a stink-o canister, and a sleep dust canister. Each canister is 200 gold. Okay, that's neat. Uh, What's you, the area of effect on the canisters? Uh, as, uh, like, Tasha's hideous laughter, stinking cloud, okay. and sleep. Okay. And so it works exactly as those spells? As those spells, okay. yeah. Um, at the minimum caster level. And then I could, would launch them, and then whenever the canisters hit after 20 feet, then that's when the area of effect would start. Okay. 
Uh, you can goo, goo, you can goo, you can add detective gear inside, uh, and then have a satellite dish outside on top that have, to have surveillance gear, tracking gear, and radar, and that's 750 gold. That sounds good. You can add a beds and a kitchen that are retractable on the inside, uh, special, special ones that... One, it would always have food in it, so you'd never have to spend any food if you're sleeping inside the van. Uh, if you sleep inside the van and use its utilities, you wake up with 10 temporary hit points for the day. And you have access to the chef feet inside of, of the turtle van. How much is that? That's 500 gold. Damn, we need to get that. We should yeah. do 10 that. extra hit points yeah. is a big deal. That yeah. should go and, on the list. Yeah, and like, just having food. That's yeah, nice, I mean, too. Mm-hmm. I don't know what the chef feed is, but yeah, uh, you is can that? you can craft food that will heal hit points, yeah. and then the last being an armored visor that will get, you can retract back and forth um, over the the windshield. So it has basically you would take a uh, disadvantage with your trying to do precise driving while it's down, but you're much more protected because it just has like arrow slits. Basically, where you could see or fire out of. That's <laughs> retractable, you said? Yep. How much is that? 250. Okay. And then um, basically, ran, between Randy and the, the place in Aurora, uh, they were able to, con- to make Silver Sheen. So, since you contributed the silver, they'll only cost you 100 gold each for a bottle of Silver Sheen, and it lasts for an hour. Can we load those in a canister? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't see why not. I mean, might want to load one of the at least one of those up. Pour some silver sheen into a sleep canister. <laughs> right. well, we're Put him need... to sleep and then watch him fade into nothing. <laughs> we're gonna need at least four silver sheens for ourselves. Well, you don't ever use a weapon, do you? I do sometimes, but oh, no. I think what I I think what I have is fine for overcoming like damage. Oh production. yeah, you've got okay. So we'll need So and and one silver sheen can coat five pieces of ammunition. I would say for your symbols, one would cover both your symbols. But if you were to want arrows or shotgun bullets or something like that, then five per silver sheen bottle. I mean, might be a good idea to make sure that Kenny's stocked up on that. Because, I mean, if we do a lot of these turtle van upgrades, which, I mean, we've already invested money, so, I mean, why not? Then... And I know it was, I was poo pooing the pizza launcher, but I mean, hell, we do the pizza launcher too. Then we can we can have we do the pizza launcher, we do the suicide door, we do the canister um, pooper, and then the uh, kitchen the alchemical alchemical thing, and then we've got like four means of attack from within the van itself in the battering ram. So I guess they're technically the battering that. ram. I think we should definitely have in case we're just last ditching it through a horde of. You know, werewolves. The motorcycle <laughs> one's probably the one I'm the, I'm the coldest on. Yeah, probably. I really like it, but fifteen hundred was for one of them. So and mm. and functionally compared to the others, yeah. I mean, I don't what know. Is, what's the total half. of all that stuff that we just said? So if you were to get, let's see, the pizza launcher is a thousand. <clears throat> the launch door is a thousand. What kind of battering ram? Silver. Silver is a thousand. The roof with the Plat- retractable roof and platform. Mm-hmm. That's seven hundred and fifty. Alchemical guns are a thousand each. So one on the and suicide door. It can hold up to three. Uh, I would do the one. I would do one on front because if someone's on the suicide door, mm-hmm. then we'll have like that side covered. Side front, right? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Like the driver's side. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So Just because that way we can we can cover more mm-hmm. area of attack from within the van. Mm. So one alchemical gun. Well, maybe that would be a thousand. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. And then you're gonna skip the side cycles and armored sidecar. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Then uh, uh, the canister pooper. What? How much? How much money do we have to We're play at with? Seven thousand two hundred ninety-two. Okay. We're at forty-two fifty, right? No, 4750 4750 Then the canister launcher is 500 just for the launcher itself and then 200 per canister. Okay. And then detective gear is 750. I like that stuff a lot, but I mean, cuz it seemed like we 
it seemed pretty abstract what we could do with it. Yeah. That's what I like about it. There's like a lot of room to play in there. Mm-hmm. Then the the beds and kitchen is 500 and the armored visor is 250. So if we got all this stuff plus the $500 kitchen, because I really think that's 10 extra hit points a piece. I know we usually sleep at the cob, but if we can sleep in there and get that yeah, bonus, that's totally. How much is it if we add that five hundred onto what's already written? Well, I think he did. You did mention the kitchen, right? Yeah, yeah. So we're not thinking about the detective gear for now, or you are thinking about it? Or we're not, think- not right yet. So yeah, want- well, I think we're still good, right? Well, no, because we're gonna have to buy ammo. Oh. Okay, and plus we have to play pay for silver sheen out of this too. Okay, I've got a couple extra hundred gold, I think, but because let's see, so pizza launcher. Suicide door, battering ram, silver battering ram, the roof, one alchemical gun, and let's see, the, the canister launcher is 500, and then we can factor in however many canisters you want after that. Uh, let's see, detective gear, 750, the beds, 500, and you're not thinking about the visor at the moment? Not no. at the moment. So that, everything of that at face value right now. Three thousand, four thousand, plus fifty. Come on, fat fingers. Plus five hundred, plus seven hundred and fifty, plus five hundred. That's six thousand five hundred. Now I think we could probably ditch the suicide door, the the gunner seat, because we're not going to have a gun on it. But we will, or the pizza launcher. And the reason I say the pizza launcher is because it's only got five shots. Mm. And it takes a full round to get one more shot. And mm. if unless we're in a car chase, I don't see the suicide door, the gunner seat being that useful. It would be useful for you or me. Given the circumstances, the pizza pizza launcher can sneak attack because it's a, a attack roll. And if we get the kitchen, we we can make pizza. Can we just shoot the pizzas that we make? Shoot out regular of it? pizza. <laughs> he said it was subspace pizzas, so oh, I don't okay. know. I don't know. If yeah, it's, that... it's like force damage, special force damage, fire subspace pizza. Well, we could just fire a regular you, pizza you and see just, what happens. Just, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> can, I, can, I just load one wrong. Of, can I load one of my symbols into it? It's about the same shape and size. Yeah. yeah. And then they'll just return to me and I'll pop it right back in. <laughs> okay, so that's a fair argument for the pizza. And the, sui- the suicide door, you could hang a barbarian with a great sword. Right, out of it. or a shotgun, or and do like cloud a warlock. Or, seven. Yeah, if we're I'll just blast. I mean, if if we're in a situation which I feel like we're probably gonna be, where we need, where the van is in motion, mm-hmm. that would be the suicide door. the The gunner seat would make sense. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, if not, I would say leave it out. Gunner seat's better. That's actually more accurate to what yeah. it is. I would I would rather leave it out unless. Yeah, in that case, we could strap me to it. And when the van's moving, now granted, there's only four of us, mm-hmm. so we can't man. That's what I was going to say. Who's going to be driving? Call Link. Link. <laughs> I was going to say, is Link going to be driving? Who has any sort of vehicle proficiency? <laughs> I don't have a vehicle proficiency, but I can, but I mean, it wasn't really a, I didn't know that was a thing. Someone had a didn't Benji, you have a van? I right? have a van, but we've never your, really talked about having a skill to use. Was that not. your tool? Well, I had the like truck. in because in, in, in D you would normally pick like oh yeah, ship proficiency or wagon proficiency because like you could steer. Yeah, if yeah. that's the case, then if you chose it as your tool, then you had proficiency. Yeah, well, I must have because that's it's been a while since we started this game. I'm not really. <laughs> so it's been like three weeks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, like game time. It's been a week, <laughs> three months in subspace, but I. But while we're driving, we would have to think about what we can actually operate while we're in motion. Right. That's just true. So if I'm tied up, like, for example, on the gunner seat, Mm -hmm. and she's running the pizza launcher, Mm -hmm. you could be doing the the cannon, the the alchemical weapon. Mm -hmm. So what does that leave? That the rest of it's utility stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I guess that would that would work. I think all the rest of the stuff we if have Benji's is utility. Driving. We could we could nix the surveillance stuff for now to give us the money for the uh, for the canisters and yeah. I mean, because right now we're we have how much left to spend? With I mean, I'll Link found eight gold on the way over, so right. you have eight hundred left. And what was the silver sheen? Silver I... sheen's a hundred. Since normally it's two hundred, but using the silver that you had. Then I'll only charge you a hundred. Can I uh, can I try to talk Randy down on some of this stuff? Sure. 
Yeah, I'd like to do that. Make a barter. I'm running in charity uh, here. How about a... Why don't we have... What, what yeah. a, what a, <laughs> do we think Liz might be more qualified to, to bargain? What's your I don't think, I think Lim's got the have charisma. Is it charisma? Okay. You have plus 10 to... Yeah, go for it. I mind seven. <laughs> okay. I will be persuasive. Make a make a persuasion check. <laughs> Intimidate him. <laughs> With a brick. <laughs> Give me the silver, Randy. That's option B. Uh, Why don't you suck the ooh. soup out of my mustache? I rolled a 19, so 29. Oh. <laughs> you just give it to y'all for free. 50% <laughs> off. He'll knock off a 1,000. Great. So that I'll frees up. I, You guys um, didn't seem too hot on the retractable shield in front of the... Whatever we the, the armored visor, the armored visor. But I like that idea. Okay, because <laughs> especially if we're going to be driving around with the battering ram, sure. Then you have like bodies like flying. That's out a good the point. That's a really it, good point. And it sounds what? like I might be driving, so I'm. Yeah. Well, you're <laughs> going to be purposely steering that silver line battering ram into things, hopefully. So yeah, yeah. she's right. You said it has armor slits. So what happens? Yeah. Does the glass? The, gl- sh- gla- the glass can retract down. Okay, so the glass so comes then down. You can fire and then, okay. Out well, then of it. in that case, I mean, I what was potentially the cost could of fire that? Eldritch Blast in that as well. Two fifty, yeah, so. especially with a thousand GP discount. Mm-hmm. Two fifty is a drop in the bucket. So now we're looking at fifteen. Feature. We're looking at fifteen fifty. We can spend. I mean, because you could. I mean, you could also you could upgrade it to add a mountain if you wanted for another fifteen hundred. We could do that later because that way then no one could. And like an adamantine, someone with another weapon of adamantine could cleave it off pretty easily. But but adamantine does not count as silver for the purposes of overcoming correct. Damage reduction. So that's where we're kind of worried. So let's say everything we want fifteen fifty. <clears throat> we need at least three silver sheens. I'll need two because if he says a silver sheen covers five rounds, I'm going to need one for my sword and. One for a handful of slugs for the shotgun. Okay. But that only gives me five. That only lasts an hour. So you have to consider, you know. Like the application only lasts an hour? Yeah. How long does it take to apply? You can apply it, I mean, as, a, as an action. Okay. But that would only, if I got two, that would give me five shots of werewolf killing. Well, if so, we could, um, <clears throat> assuming that we're going to need. At least two applications, which seems like a long time to be fighting werewolves. Um, I mean, if we have the money, we could get ten. We still have to pay for canisters for the loader. Okay, that, that's the difference. So anybody can could make the dexterity check to drive the van, but if you have the vehicle proficiency, you add your proficiency bonus to that check. Oh, well, we don't necessarily um, we don't necessarily need the loader, I guess. I mean, based on Ian, what you were saying about. How many things we can all use at the same time? Well, how much did we have? Fifteen hundred. Fifteen fifty left right now. But I was going to take off the loader. Tell you what, Randy could also do a driving navigator for a thousand, and it would allow anybody to add their proficiency check, and not just whoever has the local proficiency. I mean, that's pretty nice. That's yeah. pricey, but that's that's nice to not have one person locked in the. This is what I have to do. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do we need the person launcher? I person launcher it, comes with the retractable roof. <clears throat> oh, that's right. right. Well, I mean, okay. Do we need the person launcher slash retractable roof? I think it'd be cool to launch Benji out of it. That's why I want. <laughs> well, <it. laughs> and I, I agree. That's you what could also drop people in into it. If you had to jump out of something into the van. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to think about if you know what we really need and. Yeah, where maybe we're we should at figure financially. It. Yeah. Okay, well <clears throat> right now without without the uh what did we just say we weren't going to get? Oh, the the self-driving or the assisted driving thing. We've got 1550 to spend on silver stuff. The canisters are 200, the silver sheens are 100. So we can get three canisters for 600 and that still leaves us well, because after her after her persuasion, now you have eighteen you have eighteen hundred gold pieces left. After if if you're still getting the pizza, the gunner door, the ram, the roof, one alchemical gun, the canister launcher, the detective gear, the kitchen, and the visor. Okay, so we got eighteen hundred. <clears throat> so we get five canisters and eight silver sheens, 
but that doesn't account for us getting the a driving assist. I'll, I think you should make the decision on the driving assist because you're the driver. So, I mean, it makes sense to if me. If we were to get the driving assist, what would we drop? The canister or the alchemical. Well, we're all because we had been talking about putting some of that silver in one of the canisters. Probably the alchemical gun on the front, especially mm-hmm. if we had the visor, right? And, yeah, and the battery. Let's, ram. let's lose the alchemical gun on the yeah. front because in favor of <clears throat> driving. Because that's the assist. same price, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was the same price. Because that way you can handle the canisters and Eldritch Blast. You can handle the pizza launcher. You can handle, but then I can actually get up and use some of that shit too. Yeah. There's still enough shit to keep people busy, is what I'm getting at. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. we're still using, we're we're not getting the suicide door. Is that right? No, we are getting. So that. and then then one of us is out there shooting or fucking throwing mm-hmm. or whatever. So mm-hmm. there's plenty of stuff if we do all that. And then very very ne- it's be negotiable depending on what it is. But Randy can take any magic item and attune it to the van, so you can take it'll it'll be a a, a translation. But a magic item you can translate into the van. File of love. So you could you could do the file of love, and if you did the file of love onto the van, I would say that could. I see if it's still a spell. If it's still a spell, uh, then once per day you could make the van act like a. What's that one? It's a, the Pathfinder spell, like attraction. No. Where people were attracted, um, I don't know. There was a, there was a, there it was there were two versions of it. One where people would naturally want to stay away mm-hmm. from the, there's the opposite where they were naturally attracted to it. Mm-hmm. You could naturally attract people to to the van if you needed. So you, any any item you can just yeah any magic item. Man. The magic item is then gone because yeah. it's part of the van. That's now. A giant slaying. <sighs> Oh, yeah, I wish you hadn't. I've got I've still got that cursed axe. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> cursed items at it. <laughs> On my bag of tricks, we just pull monkeys out of the monkeys and weasels out of the turtle van. Magoo can drive. It'd be awesome. Is that a long-standing offer, or is that a one-time? A long-standing one-time offer, kind of thing. That's okay. been that's been on the table since you met Randy. Oh, okay, so cool. I'd say with your bag of tricks, you could probably put the bag of tricks in it, and then. Once per day, you could choose one of the animal bonus spells, Owl's Wisdom, Bull Strength, whatever, and <coughs> use that in some way. Either the person could touch the van and gain gain that spell, or, or make, some, uh, make the van more make the van like, yeah. more like a bull, like would, you yeah, know, a charging would, bull. a bonus to the to ramming speed, mm-hmm. or would, a bonus to mm-hmm. its driving speed, or something like that. Would potions work? Yeah. The file of love would work, so a potion. Uh, what a potion of dragon's breath. Hmm. Nitrous. Yeah. <laughs> I was just thinking, shoot fire out of the front of you it. Could, but, well, you, right. you could. Well, you could. He could two two different ways. One to where you could do it like a breath weapon out of the tailpipe, or he could use it like nitrous and increase the speed for a round. How about a potion of spider climbing? Spider drink. <laughs> Drive it up the side of a building. Yeah, you could drive go up the side of a side go. of a wall. Okay. <laughs> can we do, can we do multiple stuff with it? What do you mean? Like more more potions? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'd say if it's a, a consumable yeah, so these will be yeah, so, the, so he hooks up um sort of on the side where you see you could install and it would drain down. So one time use, but you can get more of the potions and install. But then yeah, you can use it to the van can spider climb, or cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll, or or do the. I'd say for. Let's see. Okay. Well, what he'll do, he'll he'll give he'll give you the upgrade on the house, so you'll have the, uh, the the potion capacitor added to it. So then you have to buy the potions, and then you can click them in, drain it, and whatever that potion effect, if applicable, can translate to the turtle van itself. Okay, that's great. Yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and bank that. I've rem- I've removed spider drink from my inventory, so it's okay. just it's just sitting there next. I'd to say the, I'd say be fair that it pipes. can it can hold. You can go ahead and preload it with five. Yeah, hey, that's great. It's like it, a soda machine. It, fire, <laughs> fire breath. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fire breath and got a potion of growth. 
<laughs> you can make it. You can double its size. Yes, D- double size, super fast, climbing the side of the Irvin Cobb. Well, I like the idea of driving up the side of a wall and then using the launcher to launch someone horizontally, <laughs> <laughs> like, like as a charge attack. I have a potion of flying and a potion that looks is a poison that looks like healing potion. Mm. So maybe a poison gas cloud comes out the tailpipe or something. Mm-hmm. Uh, Try it. I'll load that one in. <clears throat> All right. So what are? Let's go ahead and write down. Out of your five slots, we're loading up spider climb. Because I would say it would take. I say it takes a full minute to load, screw it in, calibrate it. So yeah, we'll just get best five. Best preload five. I have a potion of invisibility. Ooh. So we're doing climb. Dragon breath, poison, poison, invisibility, and I've got flying. I'm fine with it if everybody else wants to. I mean, I I think it'd be cool, but I do think there are two things to consider. It's still going to be a loud van, right? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) And also, like, that can be like when you need sneak attack, when like when it's absolutely necessary and you can't get it any other way. Like, that's like a, it's like a goddamn near guaranteed way to get sneak attack. (laughs) I hold on to it. Invisibility does already function on objects. So you could just pour it on it anyway. Mm. So, because yeah. I, I was reading texts about that. Like, you could, if you wanted to see there's a door in front of you, you could pour that potion invisibility on the door. The van's pretty big, though. The door. If I poured it on, would like half of it become invisible and the other half? I would say the entire object as a whole. Okay. Um, I any, wouldn't do you like that. <clears throat> the, the wheels are visible. <laughs> Does anybody have any other potions they want to stick in? There? I can. I've, I've got. Potions. I've got the flying potion, and I've got a healing potion. The healing potion. What would that do? Would that like maybe repair damage to the van? Yeah, yeah. Because there's not really any construct healing. That was a three point five thing. So yeah, I would say it could heal the. It could heal the van if it gets damaged. I'll, I'll load that one in. Oh, I do have a potion. Uh, let's see. We've got. No, I take that back. Given the given the nature of what we're about to do, you might want to keep the healing keep potion the for healing. your own. So. But I, I can, I will. What if we? What about flying? Will we be able to fly or just oh, yeah. float? I say you could fly. Levitate would make it float. Because I have a ring of spider falling or fe- spider feather falling uh, that I'll wear if I need it. But I'll put the flying potion in, not the healing, but the flying potion. Okay. We full up. We've got one more, one more one space. More slot. I've got <clears throat> something that maybe, but you want to keep it a secret? No, I just I'm not sure how it would work. Mm. But in a room full of wolves, animal friendship. Yeah, <laughs> we're like running away from them and stop that, and they're like, "Oh hey, oh it's a giant metal wolf." Hey, <laughs> yeah, it, it just yeah. makes them not pee on the tires. <laughs> um, I have Maybe a potion of invulnerability. Oh well, <laughs> and. Um, Diminutive size, so <gasps> I don't know how that would work with us in it. <laughs> you know, I'd what say I mean? it would shrink you inside too. Yeah, oh, that'd be badass. Yeah, that would be pretty cool because especially if we had the potion of enlargement too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you could take one out and go ahead and load up, enlarge, and reduce. It's up to you guys. I'm yeah. I'm willing to offer. I mean, whatever I have is on what's, the table. What's in there right now? Spider climb, dragon breath, poison, and fly. So what do we want to take out if we put both of these in there? What we can always load them in later too. I mean, I all say, those seem really good. What would be the advantage to being smaller, or are you thinking about that as a way to go back from to regular size? From I just figured we'd go like a mouse hole, an escape, yeah, <laughs> an escape, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But we've got fly, so I mean, well, let's. Are you, is there any chance you're going to use that diminutive? I mean, you? I think it makes a lot more sense. For the, the van. That's what I'm saying. For a yeah. Person, yeah. Let's put it in the van. I'll keep growth for now because okay. I could personally use that. Yeah, that so is true. That's a good point. I may not, but... So you're going to load up, reduce into the final slot? Yeah. Okay. We give the van clairvoyance? <laughs> <laughs> you could... I'd say if you gave it clairvoyance, you could go... You could... I mean, it would be similar to the spell on its screen. It could pop up and... That'd be cool. Yeah. <laughs> give how you give get it the the... Make it younger. Make it a Fisher Price van. <laughs> that's how you. That's, that's how you. Sorry, Dane's mom. <laughs> <laughs> we wanted to see what would happen. We wanted power wheels. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <clears throat> and then we're gonna buy. So that leaves us eighteen hundred. We never did clear the silver sheen issue. So are we gonna? How many canisters are we buying? Three. 
Well, with that, we can buy four canisters and ten silver sheens. Okay. That which, seems good. Which canisters do we want? All sleep or mix and match? We should mix it up. Yeah. What were the options for the canisters, Tyler? Laughing gas, which will function as Atasha's hideous laughter spell. Stinko, which will function as a, a stinking cloud spell. And then sleep dust, that will function as sleep. And those are all... I, mean, I looked what kind of canisters, and those are the three types of the stickers that are on the turtle sleep band. Sleep rules, because there's no save. Um, but it's we're not going to be able to... If there's like a huge group... We're not going to be able to affect that whole huge group, right? Because it goes by H uh, by hit die. So, as I remember, Tasha's hideous laughter was a pretty fucking gnarly spell. Yeah, I don't know it? how it's changed. Yeah, but it, it was it, because I thought it was, it was, like, was a lot higher Kudagra level spell. than those other two spells too. I don't see this stink cloud being as beneficial as maybe the laughter and the sleep. And they probably get a Constitution save on yeah. stink cloud, is my guess. And a lot of, I mean. So we're we gonna, could do, we're gonna fight werewolves. I'm assuming werewolves probably are gonna make that save. I don't know. They're gonna be pretty I thought you were gonna say I assume werewolves are already gonna be stinky. So, <laughs> I mean, I, mean I, yeah. I don't know. I don't wanna <laughs> I don't wanna come in with this any prejudice. <laughs> I don't wanna be wolfist. <laughs> right. I think two and two of the gas, the laughing gas and the sleep would be a good buy. Well, we were talking about loading them up with silver, some kind of alchemical silver, weren't we? Yeah. I'm a little you know, I don't know how that would work. I don't know if it would if they're coated in silver, then could their damage reduction just be overcome by using a regular weapon on it? Like, is that how that would work, or would it actually damage them? I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it would actually damage them. The way the way it reads, like the way we think about werewolves, it would it would sear their skin. But in D and D terms, I think something silver can just pierce their hide yeah okay well then so it could you could coat them in silver and then i mean heat that fucking metal up and that would work or um yeah i'd say any weapon could then if it's passing through that silver onto them then any weapon would work okay so tasha's hideous laughter in this edition they get um a wisdom saving throw or fall prone so i mean it's still pretty good yeah um, yeah, they become yeah, if something's chasing after you, and then suddenly falls prone, laughing. Yeah, they become incapacitated. So I mean, that's coup de gras city right there. So two of those do, do that and then back over them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> slowly. So how long? Oops. How long does that last? Uh, up to one minute. I don't know how we're going to handle concentration because it is a concentration spell. I, I mean, I don't know if it has any effect on the canisters. I say since it's a since it's a gas, it would work like the way smoke works in a in an area. Okay, that would be the concentration. Would be how long the the strongest concentration stays in that area. But then of course, it, may, it could be blown away and around. But so two two hideous laughter, two sleeps. Sounds ten, sounds good to me. I mean, ten silver sheens. Yeah, I think mm-hmm. that's good. Yeah, we. And let me make sure. Let me make sure I'm right on sleep. I don't think it has a save. They might be immune to that. I don't I really think it don't does know. either. I think it's just hit points. Yeah, because I was. I think that's how we did it when. I mean, we were using the wand. That was a long time ago, though. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just five d eight worth of HP of creatures. So I mean, at this level, we might just want to get all Tasha's hideous laughter. Five d eight HP. Mm-hmm. Not H. Mm-mm. I thought oh. it was hit dice, but it's hit points. Oh, God. Yeah, so it was really useful in Jazzadrune when yeah. we were level two, three. <laughs> yeah. But now it's like, that might be a werewolf. Yeah. Yeah, we should probably just do all the laughter. Okay. So four laughters, ten silver sheens. Uh, Nicole, do you use two weapons? No. Okay. Because you could put it on the dragon dagger and your soul weapon. Why don't you take four? Ian, you take three. I'll take three. Let me look up Stinking Cloud just for giggles to see if it's changed. I think that Ian should take four. Oh, yeah, because he's got the the ammo. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Well, then you and I'll take three and he can take four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you need to go ahead and write down and specify slugs and buckshot and what your... Wait, how many did I get? Four. So one dose will cover five shots. So if I took three, one for my sword and then three for... Ammo, I could do 15. 15 bullets. And then specify, tell me what kind. I'm, gonna do, I'm doing 
five bucks shot and ten slugs or what's the area of effect on Tasha's hideous laughter from the canister? I'd say fifteen feet. Okay. Stinking cloud is a constitution save, so yeah. you're right on that. So did you say it would take But our that might have been a three point five thing that things creatures with scent had a negative. Oh, I, just thinking I clouds. I don't know. I don't know if that's still a thing, though. I have no mm-hmm. idea. It's not specifically mentioned. And well, let me. <laughs> it's like extra stinky to them. <laughs> yeah, if they have like, I know that was the thing. If you used it on dogs or things like that, that had a strong sense of smell. Yeah, they they <laughs> cool hand Luke style. Mm-hmm. Um, on this, I guess you said it would take an action to apply the silver sheen. Mm-hmm. And once you apply it, it lasts for an hour. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about the, the scent stuff. It does say if they're immune to poison, it doesn't work. Uh, okay. And if they don't have to breathe, it also doesn't work. <clears throat> they don't have to breathe. Yeah. Be good? Not everything? I, I think so. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Probably not, but let's we'll say yeah. <laughs> All right. So then with your driving your uh, – is everyone going to take a – I mean, while that's going on, you could go ahead and take a – uh, <laughs> Yeah, you could take a long rest. All right. Yep. Applicable to a long rest, not a short rest. Okay. Can we get the horn to play La Cucaracha? Yep. Great. Randy will throw that in. <laughs> it was already on there. We just never <laughs> yeah, tried right. it. <laughs> What's this switch do? <laughs> I guess we just um, – well, one thing before we get to that night, I was sending out Colin to track down Luke. Yes. Did he find any information? Does he know where Luke is, where he's been, what he's doing? Luke has been at the fairgrounds. Okay. Uh, talking to a lot of the carnies. Oh, boy. Um, and he last saw him in the haunted house. Hmm. <clears throat> So then we will start on night one, you guys walking up. It's now nighttime to a very huge, bustling, packed out Kentucky Oaks Mall fair. So you see rides set up, fair foods, a haunted house, uh, a large stage in the center. So what's everybody like to do? You know, the transaction is not happening until night two with um, Liz's mother. London London is supposed to meet it's very, the Black like, Wolf on night two. human trafficking lingo of you to say the transaction. Mm-hmm. Transaction. <laughs> I have a very specific set of skills. Um, Everybody can make a perception that is sight-based. 26. 13. 23. 20. Everyone on... So not, not Benji. Everyone else, you can see... Mm. Uh, over by the food, there is a a man who is already, you know, a head taller than everybody else, surrounded by children. Looks like he is very quickly handing out uh, cotton candy. You recommend uh, recognize Benjamin Senior there with a bunch of kids. <laughs> I thought it was Luke. <laughs> 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 oh, that's dark. <laughs> Yo, Benji, there's your dad. Yeah. Oh, hey. I should go talk to him. Um, hey. Is, is cotton candy vegan? I, it's it's spun sugar. sugar. I think it's just sugar. Yeah. <laughs> there's probably some kind of... It's honey cotton candy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, yeah, he sees all of you coming over. He just, hey, hey. He starts, he starts giving out hugs. And you got cotton candy, please. Hell yeah. What color? Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, blue, blue. There you go. Thank you. Uh, is John around anywhere? I haven't seen him. Okay, he's not here helping with the kids or anything. No. Okay. Not. That's never really been his back. No, I know. But uh, just making sure. Um. You know, you remember what we told you about. Was was that Benji's brother's name? Huh? John? Yeah. Okay. Named after your brother. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, we told you about the Black Wolf and everything. Mm-hmm. So you're being properly careful, right? Oh, I'm ready. Okay. <clears throat> um, I was thinking about giving him the sword, but I might need that. Um, uh, we're going to be around most of the night so if anything happens call my cell phone okay or if you see you know anything you need me let me know I, your mom's right here somewhere so um, if that happens I'll 
the kids will go with her and they'll leave. Okay, good. But um, we still need to be careful. We may have to evacuate. I, I don't know, or be very. Dis- I, uh, it's. I think it's going to be. It can very quickly turn into a mess. Yeah, I'm going to have my friend Colin go with mom just to watch out for her. Yeah. Okay. Because several. Because he's looking around. Yeah, several of these workers um, ping with me <laughs> about uh, not being good people. Yeah. Um, and just looking around at some of the carnies that are in, like, do any of them look like they're giving us a second look? Or are they... Make a perception check. 17? No, it looks like they're just kind of... No one looks like they're staring at you in particular. But <laughs> it's, a, it's also very, very busy. Do they look like... <laughs> I mean, do they look like really like shitty, I don't want to be here kind of carnies? Or are they actually like making an effort to be... I mean, I know we're playing a fiction game, but is there a second kind? <laughs> well, <laughs> some that like look like they're actually trying to be entertaining and like clownish, or are they all just like... For the most part, they're all kind of morose. I'm going to loudly say, oops, I dropped my belladonna and look at their carnies. <laughs> <laughs> Who reacted? Okay. <clears throat> you see one person goes, the porn star? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, just be careful. We're going to be we're gonna be around here. Okay. Um, so Colin told me that Luke was here in, where did he say he was? The haunted house. In the haunted house. Okay. Do we want to just avoid that situation? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if it's possible, but it's it, up to you, right? I mean, I feel like it should be up to you. Yeah, I was gonna say that's that's your situation. So. Well, that's exactly why I'm saying like I. Uh, I mean, I'm here to help. So whatever you want to do, I mean, I'll yeah, back yeah. you up on that. What's what's wrong? Uh, nothing. I've just I pissed somebody off doing something stupid. So. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. What what particular about this time though? Oh, <laughs> uh, it's Luke, John's friend. Oh, the one that was in the band. Yeah. Oh, the one you took the place up in the band. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's probably pretty mad. Yeah, it gets worse than that, but I don't have time to get into it. <laughs> I mean, we may as well just we may as well confront him and cross this off the list. All right, if you're good with that, I I'm, just... I'm yeah, fine if, you, if you're it, worried if you that that do. guy is going to do something to you, then I don't know, I'd hate for him to try to mess with you like right when a wolf is coming around. Right, <laughs> right exactly. It just My growth as a person has moved me beyond... Uh, my pettiness. You have a potion for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so yeah, so I don't want to like I don't want to make you all do this because I kind of brought this on myself to some degree. Uh, but I'm, all right, I well, can't speak for everyone here, but I'll well, back. Go kick the shit out of him then, because that's probably the only way this is gonna end. So. <laughs> what you made him mad by doing something stupid? Now you're gonna beat him up. <laughs> I told you I'm, I'm not on board with this exactly, but he's gonna confront me at some point. So. We're just going to go. You're just going to beat him up? Well, I hope not, but he's not a particularly rational person. He's been pushed to the edge. I can attest to that. <laughs> but because you took his place in the band? Yeah, yeah. He's he's not rational. He's really just not <laughs> rational. <laughs> you know, teenage angst and, and hormones and everything. Well, well okay. Yeah. We, Lim we, is sweating. <laughs> 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 he needs a sweat on Lim's forehead. Fla- flashing back to Louisville with the, the paper mache head. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let, let's let's go see if he wants to talk. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the sooner the better. Lead the way. Let's go. Let's head over to the haunted right, house. Learn something out. <laughs> <laughs> One of these days, I'll own up to all these mistakes. But for now, we've got to do this. <laughs> all right, let's go. Let's head to the haunted house. Go to the haunted house. Yes. All right, getting in line and getting tickets and everything. I guess. Yeah. Um, is it like a fun house kind of like you just walk through a narrow, or is it like a big place that can be kind of explored? It's a place that can be kind of explored. Okay. Yeah, we'll just get tickets and walk in as a group. Okay. Hopefully, if we can, like, if they're letting people in as a group, this will be our group. Okay. Your dad gets you guys um, all bands with infinite tickets or whatever. Infinite oh, oh, nice. Wrist Thank a you. wristband. Thanks, Dad. A ri- yeah, special wristband. <laughs> all right. <laughs> that I won't take off for a week. Yeah. <laughs> I used to wear them to school. Yeah. 
Yeah, totally. We'll show them off. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I went to the fair. Yeah, I got unlimited yeah. rides. What of it? This is stamp from a club. <laughs> Means no I couldn't deal. drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so then, yeah, you guys wait. I mean, it's pretty busy. You wait in line, and it's it's a it's a fairly large. It's like a double wide trailer that they painted like haunted house on the side of it. And you see people eventually they go in and after a while walk out the, the other end. Was it scary? It's okay. Yeah, it was okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love haunted houses. I'm imagining like roller coaster tycoon sounds. <laughs> yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Rubber bats with flashing red eyes is going, ooh. I'm imagining how dangerous it is with all these little kids going into a haunted house with a pedophile. You know you created the mythos that he's a pedophile. <laughs> I thought you said you had some. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 400 people go, oh, are you talking about Luke? <laughs> you convinced you yourself that it's true. You That's how bad yourself this yourself into gotten. multiple voices saying that. <laughs> 400 multiple voices. I think we should all do a take of it. (laughs) Are you talking about Luke? (laughs) That pedophile? Oh, man. We got to kick the shit out of him. Oh, he's him dead in there. <laughs> Hell, we <laughs> killed him an hour ago. <laughs> Quest complete. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. <laughs> to catch a predator. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> so, yeah, you guys make your way in, and it's... Um, it looks like uh, there's like all this black cloth kind of going around. The lights are turned down, and you're maneuvering around before it it splits off into different ways, and you guys can go and kind of walk around. And there's, you know, you'll see mirrors and you see figures popping out, and occasionally you'll hear a hand will come out in front of you. No one's actually touching you. Uh, and then when you walk around, you come out into a, a large room. <laughs> Did you I see t- that? I too saw something from the corner of my eye. Yeah, something, <laughs> something, something this way scurry. Something's here. Something is here. Something wanted to be thematic. And yeah, the room. yeah, it was very thematic. <laughs> that was ice. I don't think I've ever said this before, but I hope that was a mouse yeah. because if that wasn't a mouse, that was a big fucking bug <laughs> <laughs> to make that noise. I mean, it was like pitter better, pitter better, pitter better. <laughs> it's probably a mouse. Yeah. Probably about. They are here. <laughs> he was brave. He's going to run out in the light in front of these five people. <laughs> Throw one of them lemon cookies down there. I bet he'll go for <laughs> it. He'll come out. Wow. <laughs> yeah, but as you guys walk into sort of this big room, once you... Once you <laughs> I love that we got to share that moment. Yeah, because I was like, anybody else see that? I'm not going to say anything. Oh, Dave saw it. Yeah, I'm like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I caught that cave trigger earlier. I'm not. I'm not catching that. Okay. <laughs> that has teeth. Yeah. <laughs> but once you walk into the the open area, then you see very quickly a black sheen sort of pops up around all the other doors, and you see it looks like a like a Full Metal Alchemist style dark purple light all on the floor lights up. Oh, this is cool. And then you see on where the mirrors are, all of a sudden you see walk out and appear in like seven different mirrors. You see Luke. It's like Return of the Dragon. <sighs> what was it interesting? <laughs> I was imagining the purple around the room like Magus. Mm. Yeah, like... <laughs> Wah, 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 wah. Yeah, I'll play that music for the game. <laughs> <laughs> you just made it more powerful. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Benji, hey. you have ruined my life. Yeah, uh, I feel kind of bad about that, actually. Um, like, literally, <laughs> I lost my job. No one will hire me. My friends won't talk to me. Everyone thinks I am a goddamn pedophile. Yeah. Um, I mean, you take my band, well, and now you've taken everything else. Well, the, the band's not even playing anymore. So take, I mean, take, that's that. Not take that big take the high road. But <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah. why? Oh well, 
I, 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 I was wrong. I was wrong, and I feel bad for what I did. You were kind of an asshole, but I went too far, and I'm sorry. How was I an asshole? About me beating you when I beat you, and yeah, that sucked. <laughs> hold on, yeah. hold on, pause for a sec. Didn't you suspect that he broke into your apartment? Oh yeah, that was the reason you did that, right? That you thought he came into your place while you were asleep, and I think I, that I may have stated. Before. I think that might have started before, but yeah. yeah, you did sneak into my house. S- snuck into your house? I didn't sneak into your house. You didn't sneak into my apartment and leave a letter. I I gave a letter to a guy. He said, no, I'll give it to Benji for $20. So I gave him $20. Did he break into your house? What did the guy look like? Oh, he was short. He had, like, black hair. Did he have a crooked face? A little bit. <laughs> what? Wait, what? <laughs> no, it was just some random guy at a bar when I was bitching. And he's like, oh, I know, I know that dude. I'll give him your message. $20. So I did. Well... And you know what I was gonna, what I was gonna do? What my big revenge was? What's that? I was gonna good. take your drumsticks. <laughs> <laughs> That's all before before you played. I was gonna take your drumsticks so you would know what that failure felt like. <laughs> and now everyone thinks I'm a pedophile. That's awful. <laughs> but you have to admit that's awful. Yeah, no, I feel bad about it yeah. now. Uh, uh, but you know, I've grown a lot in the past week, so. You know, and can we? I can attest to that. That is true. He has grown quite a bit. What if I made posters? Good for him. My life's still over. Well, we well, can. Uh, we can probably fix some of this damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I, that's. I've. I've. Looks like he's like he pulls out this pendant. He says, "I've done a lot of research, uh, and I have. I will have my fucking revenge." Okay. And you see. He holds that pin up, it glows bright purple, and the floor glows bright purple. Gods of eternity, still and forever, give way. We're just gonna let him do this. To an eternity of revenge. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to decide if I want to open the Rebo's box. <laughs> Break open your seal and pour out your. I'll vengeance. just throw my symbol at him. You see, there's that. Once it gets to the edge of that summoning circle, you see it rebounds off. Oh, the symbol does? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So he's in a summoning circle? You guys are. <laughs> We're in a summoning circle. He's in all the mirrors. You see his reflection all the mirrors outside of it. Okay. But once it hits the edge of that circle, it rebounds off. So the whole floor isn't purple. It's just... Yeah, it's just it's this a, circle. There's a circle. Yeah, there's okay, like, a, a, like a 20-foot circle. Okay. Break your seal and pour out your vengeance. <laughs> and it looks like he cuts himself with that symbol. I spill my blood and I call to you... Speedy! And then from this purple and black smoke, you see arise a figure in a tuxedo. It's a tuxedo mask. So we're going to take a time out here to do one of, tell you a tale of one of Paducah's more weird oh, speedy. tales. Oh, Fucking Speedy! speedy. <laughs> right. I'm like, I don't know why that didn't occur to me. Well, I thought it was going to be Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, no, it's, it's really it's, speedy. It's speedy. It is I forgot. speedy. So Speedy, Ian, you might know the tale better than I do, actually. You better You better you tell it. I'm rusty. <laughs> Just give it your best there. So Speedy... That is not his given name. It's more a nickname like you would name a a big guy tiny. So Speedy was a homeless dude around the time of the Paducah flood. Which was 1937. Yep. So shortly, and he was a, a, a homeless guy, character around town. No one knew his family or anything like that. He died before the flood. So he died, and his only known friend was the coroner. So when Speedy dies, no one claims the body. So the coroner, or no, not the coroner, just a mortician. The mortician convinces the city of Paducah, oh, he wanted me to have his body when he died. He told me that. So they just say, okay, here, take his body. And and what this mortician does, and to my knowledge this day, no one knows what he did but he had some sort of weird concoction. Uh, He essentially mummified Speedy. (laughs) Dressed him in a tuxedo and propped him up in the corner of the funeral home. Uh, And there he sat. And there it's 
awful looking. Yeah. Uh, to the point, like, he became more known around town as that, the mummy and dressed in the tuxedo in the funeral home. So when it flooded, it washed away speedy until, like, somebody was able to find, like, what's that floating in the river? Oh, that's speedy. Reclaim him, bring him back. And there he sat until, like, Five years ago, yeah, it's been, pretty it's recent. It's been recent that he was. So we had a just this man who's been completely violated, mummified, dressed in a tuxedo, and I'll put it's on YouTube. It has it's all all these websites. I I'm not familiar with this. Which funeral home was he in? I I don't know. It but was he was probably but, Lindsay's or something. <laughs> you can Google long, it because I, when I read the story, a, I Googled it and it's. We have a couple of weird. very long <laughs> standing funeral homes in Paducah that have been around since then. So hmm. probably one of those two. I can think of a couple. <laughs> All right. So, so you see, out of that smoke, everyone recognizes Speedy, who his eyes flare up white and his arms raise. Roll for it, initiative. Roll the 20. Speedy, true to his name. 14. 22. So it's a 23 for me. Uh, uh, <laughs> Speedy. Charles Henry Speedy Atkins. Died in 1928. Uh, 20 for me. Man, you, you're all faster than Speedy. Congratulations. I was about to say, does he have like the go fast <laughs> or the go first epic feat? <laughs> He was known as Speedy because he was a very fast tobacco worker. He migrated here from Tennessee, found work in the tobacco fields, and was apparently very good at his job. That's him right there. Him or the mummy? Yeah. And it's awful looking. <laughs> Maple Lawn Park Cemetery is where he was finally put to rest. So I'll have links in the show notes for all things relating to Speedy. Lem. I cast Banishment. He makes a charisma saving throw if he was summoned from, I mean. Because if it's a creature summoned? It's a, you can, target, you can, you can target anyone. It, it doesn't even oh, have to be from another of what plane type of it existence. Is? Yeah. Okay. He was featured on That's let me, let me Incredible read. and Ripley's Believe It or Not, starring Jack Palance in the <laughs> 1980s. Banishment. You attempt to send one creature that you can see within range to another plane of existence. The target must succeed on a charisma saving throw or be banished. If they are from a different plane of existence, um, they go back to their home plane. If they're if they're from this plane, then they disappear for um, a minute. Okay. Fifteen is a spell save. Damn, failed it. <laughs> In all speedy, tremendous charisma. <laughs> <laughs> It was so, a he, Speedy was black, and Speedy, the guy that owned the funeral home, it was a it was a, the only funeral home that handled the bodies of African Americans, and that's why he took him <coughs> after he died. Mm, okay, interesting. So I don't know where he was summoned from. If Tennessee is another plane of existence, which I hope <laughs> it is, I send him back to Tennessee. <laughs> it is. It is. It really. That'll work. Is. <laughs> Just so got you, that at seven level. I say, <laughs> damn it! <laughs> this is gonna be a hell of a fight. <laughs> it still was. <laughs> okay, puts, every, Kenny puts his sword away. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give everybody the five thousand experience points. <laughs> the fight was worth. <laughs> I can take it. I can take no, it it's back. Okay. You, you got it. You, you, it was a good call. It was a good call. He was essentially an iron golem. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. God. If that had leveled see, me up, I would have shit. <laughs> you see Luke just start screaming, no! I said, let's I, talk about this. I, I, I'm sorry. Yeah, the, su- the summoning circle dies out, and the yeah, you see Luke just hits his knees. This is my domain, haunted ground. houses. Don't start <laughs> stuff in a haunted house. <laughs> You hear Kyle. I grew up in a haunted house. house. <laughs> I pull out the whip. <laughs> People are in line outside. What the fuck is taking so long? They won't was let that us speedy? in. <laughs> Where the who the fuck was that? He left in a hurry. 
I, I really am sorry about what I did, and I want to try to make it up to you at some point. I feel even worse about how fun, how much work you did to summon Speedy, <laughs> and the fact that you were so thoroughly embarrassed once again. <laughs> but uh, I hate you so much. <laughs> well, that was on me, but it was only because you did it to my friend. I hate all of you so much. What the? Well, 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 uh, we can, fix, Benji, we can fix this. Benji, do you think maybe you could talk to your dad about potentially getting him we, some work? We can get you a job. I can get you a job. And we can Just, find a glow worm, and they can convince everyone that you're not a pedophile. And we we facil- we facilitated this. We did, We stood by and didn't stop. I feel just as bad. I want to... Put me in touch with your people. I will stand in front of them. I don't have any people. No, I meant the, they're all gone. The people that turn turn you away because Paducah. of Paducah. <laughs> ben doesn't care if you're a pedophile. I'll just go there. Yeah, I can only hang out at one trailer park. <laughs> but how does Benji truly feel in this moment? Like I, I feel I do feel bad. Like I feel bad that that I did. This much damage no. because I thought it was really funny at the time, but <laughs> it's, it's not as funny when you consider the actual, you know, what happened as a result. So I do genuinely feel bad. I, you know, there's a little part of me that is just like, eh, I thought he was, you know, I thought he was a worse person than he is, and but I'm trying, I'm still overcoming that, but. Well, then that's when Benji's, your Dragoon armor flares up, lights up. You float in the air. Benji levels up. Benji learns the the power of remorse and compassion. So your symbols become plus two. Awesome. Luke's over there going, (laughs) what? What? He's... He's, he didn't even do it. <laughs> Benji is Scott Pilgrim. <laughs> Just a complete piece of shit that keeps. Yes. Benji is <laughs> Scott Pilgrim. <laughs> <laughs> you have advantage on all athletic checks. You can add, if it's made to jump, you uh, add double your proficiency. Okay. Okay. You gain access to. <laughs> Three spells per day you can choose uh, from the paladin spell list at uh, first level. Okay. Do I cast them as a paladin? Do I need to prepare them? Yes. Or do I need to pick three specific spells? Pick three. You have. Um, I'll give them to you like a sorcerer. Like you have three first level spots spells spells you can use once per day. Okay. That's what I was getting at. Is yeah. as like a sorcerer or is like what it as a sorcerer? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then your armor, um, I think I don't think it was magical before, so now your armor will be plus one. Awesome. And then you float back down. Well, I will. I will try to help Luke off the ground and comfort him as best as possible. He seems pretty broken, so he lets you, yeah, <clears throat> kind of pick him back up. It's a nasty cut. We should bandage that up. Maybe one other thing. <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah, he's bleeding. We could. One other thing we could do is potentially make. <laughs> Some sort of announcement before we play next, <laughs> you know. Maybe we'd like to announce that Luke is not a. Pedophile. We'd like to say this poor, this man is a victim of a joke that yeah. was being played. That's a good and idea. I like that. If yep. you see these posters, this was us. We didn't mean. Uh, I don't know. Hey, yeah, I don't know that we need to. I don't know that we need to tell everybody that I did it, but that we, as the righteous and good that we are. <laughs> Um, well, your armor's fading. That was weird. That was weird. I, saw, I swear I saw it flicker for like just a second. It's just, it was like striking a lighter with the light. Yeah, it, just went, it was weird, wasn't it? it? Was, yeah, I saw it that too. It wasn't just me, right? Nope. I've only been like neutral good for an hour, so just you know, <laughs> calm down. Well, I do think in whatever, yeah, we, in whatever. We need, to, we need to help him. Like, I need to help him, so mm. I, I absolutely intend on doing that. You will have a job at Barnes and Barnes Realty or whatever. Really? Yeah, I can probably figure something out. Okay. If not, we got a friend who owns an auto body shop that does some pretty cool work. Maybe he, can t- maybe he needs a helping hand. <laughs> okay. My dad has actually had one employee before, so <laughs> and he was a, and he was a weird guy. So <laughs> this makes sense. <laughs> Perfect. We'll take you. We'll introduce him to you. We, we've got a lot going on right now, but don't worry. 
uh, you know, go have some Quiznos or something. Just just have a good. Well, they night. won't let him into Quiznos anymore. <laughs> <laughs> go through the drive-through. <laughs> go, just go to our van. We got pizza. It's fine. Just, just. <laughs> okay. No, I'll, I'll get in touch with you as soon as we get our our affairs in order. It's a long story, but we're in, we've got a lot to take care of. But you are high on my priority list, sir. Thanks. Hey. He's just uh, like yeah. He he doesn't even know what to do with himself anymore. He seems he seems grateful, but he's also very confused and conflicted. And I want to like throw my arm over him and like pull him pull him close. It's okay. I want to apologize for sending your mommy back to Tennessee. I know you worked hard on that. I did work hard on that. I know. That's... And I wouldn't have done it. I tried to stop you. Tennessee's so far away. It is. It's basically <laughs> another plane of existence. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you to the I'll show you to the van. <laughs> you see what Colin's like, oh I'll do that. I'll take him. Oh, okay. So, Hi Colin. Hey. 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 I like haunted houses too. Get it back to the van great. and go find my mom. Okay. Thank you. What she look like? <laughs> put on a wig. <laughs> yeah, just, just don't. Hey, like stick her hair and put it here. <laughs> okay. Ben Jet. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Colin. See ya. <laughs> Man, that guy's weird. I think he's great. He's all right, but he's weird. But then again. <laughs> <laughs> Luke or Colin? <laughs> An accused pedophile just summoned Speedy and tried to kill us. So weird as... That's yeah. true. In the you did the shoulder. accusing, son. <laughs> An <laughs> accused pedophile. <Yeah. laughs> a lie's a lie if you believe it. A Paducah man was arrested was today. Wrong? <laughs> I didn't say who accused him, but he was accused. <laughs> Never give more information than is absolutely necessary. <laughs> he tried to kill me, accused footlong dick guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then you guys can leave the the haunted house. Um, once you leave the haunted house, go ahead and make a. Give me two uh, perceptions. Are they visual? Yes, they're both visual. Ooh, 16 and 6. 20. 12 and 19. 28 and 17. Oh, I'm sorry. 20 and 11. Okay. The f- Liz, you're the only one that sees the first thing is once you guys get out, uh, you see you see two guys. Looks like they are on the opposite side of, of the fairgrounds. You see, it looks like they're going into like a trailer administrative office. Uh, they stand out to you because they are wearing um, their their clothes look different and different enough that you recognize like the garb of your people in the old country. It looks like they're walking into the the administrative trailer. Okay, I will point that out to the group. And the rest of you do see over by the stage uh, is Ham Williams. Hey, it's Ham. Looks like he's got. He's got like balloons tied to his overalls. <clears throat> he's got like a funnel cake and a thing of cotton candy. And he's looking at everybody set up, everything around the stage. I look at Liz. I know that the neighborhood watch guys are going into that trailer, but I want to go say <laughs> it to Ham real quick. Is Ham on the way to the trailer? Yeah. Okay. Oh, perfect. He's well, instead of on the opposite, because you're gonna you're gonna cross to the same side, but then they're on opposite sides. Ham. Um, no way. Hey, oh. Hi, Lim. Hey, Kay. Come on. What? How's how you like the fair? How's it going? It's it's we just got here. Yeah. The haunted house was pretty wild to be honest. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. I ain't been on it yet. Um I hear everybody's like experience is different. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that the one with the mummy and the murderous accused pedophile? <laughs> That's I heard it's one. real good. That's the one. <laughs> Well, you think it's going to be big, but then it's underwhelming all of a sudden. <laughs> Real blood, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it turns out to be a fake pedophile. So. <laughs> Real mummy, fake pedophile. <laughs> Band name. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can't do that. We can maybe censor it. <laughs> okay. Fake children lover. Fake children lover. <laughs> 
<laughs> Fake Nambla member. <laughs> 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 well, the good the, the good news is I know um I talked to uh the the brothers Peña and they will uh they're down. They they thought it's done great. So uh they'll probably be here in about an hour. Oh, cool. Very nice boys. Very nice. Good. We should get our equipment. <laughs> we probably should get our equipment, you're right. I kind of forgot about this. We're going to play Los Tres Peños. Hermanos de la Pina. Oh, okay, there you go. Or in, in Ham's Peggy Hill Spanish, Hermanos de la Pina. Okay, then you guys going to go get your stuff out of the van and set up? Oh, look at Liz. I don't know. What, what do you can, think? About we can that? set up. If you don't think it'd be a problem to split up, we can set up while she goes and talks to them or looks to see what they're up I to. Say, I'd like to go like sneak around and peek in the window of the trailer. Can I do that? Yeah. Or, Lim, if you want to go with, Benji and me can handle the setup. Can you be real sneaky? No. <laughs> <laughs> can you no. blend in with the crowd? Well, well he's wearing like a guitar 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 man. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm wearing, I'm wearing I'm blue beige hang over. <laughs> yeah, I think I can handle that. <laughs> <laughs> my Cyclops my, <laughs> my bat hoodie. <laughs> Yeah, no problem. Oh, second honest, thought. Honest, I mean, honestly, a Kentucky Oaks Mall in 2000 is not going to draw that many. Yeah. Here, let, me borrow, let me borrow that Dr. Seuss hat. All right, now I'm good. Get my alien pendant. Perfect. I, I can go. I will actually will probably be better at blending in. Well, how long does what it, I'm wearing? How long does it normally take us to set up? Uh, I mean, not probably not very long at all. I and mean, do we have the do we have our equipment in the turtle van? I assume I don't know. It's in the I think it's you had it's in the in the it's, fat chocobo. In yeah, the, yeah, it's in the infinite storage of the van. So okay, I mean if we can avoid if we can avoid splitting up, you also have um, Colin. Yeah, yeah, I know. I was sitting there thinking we got Colin, and I assume nothing is gonna. Well, it's dangerous to assume, but. Dad's also pretty powerful. So we can have Colin set up and Link. Link's got to be around here somewhere. <laughs> He's been with us the whole time. Just, hey, it's Speedy. <laughs> and where the hell is Jill, by, by the way? Wasn't she coming to? Jill no. decided. No, she was yeah, Jill okay. was staying at the, the hotel. So Link, yeah, Link is, Link is, he got here before you guys. So he's, yeah, coordinating everything with the stage. Okay. Yeah, Colin can help set up. We'll go sneaky, sneaky. I mean, I'm not good at that either, I don't think, but. Probably yeah. better than Lim. But. I'm going to keep a distance. I'll, I'll be I'll be nearby okay. in case you need any warlocking <laughs> done, but far enough where you can do your sneaking. Okay, I want to sneak up and look in the window. All right, make a stealth check. Twenty-four. Okay, yeah, uh, you sneak up and it looks like no one's no one's really paying attention to you. And you go. I guess there's be a window, a small window around back on the other side of the trailer, and when you look in, yeah, you've got dark vision, so you see inside. Um, you see somebody looks like they've been beaten up. Looks like they're sitting on a couch, looking down. You see those two people that you saw go into the trailer on the other side of a a small desk, and on the other side of the small desk is a enormous man. I would give him the the dimensions of Shaquille O'Neal. Like, he's well over seven feet and, and, and I mean, not skinny, built. Just, I mean, wide and tall. Uh, and you recognize, you you don't remember this person, um, but you've seen from the picture that your your aunt's had, uh, that is that is the Black Wolf. Looks like he has, he looks like he basically is wearing like a, a a leather jacket with studs on it. The sleeves are kind of pushed up. He's got dirty jeans on. Uh, and then also a bandana tied around his neck. A beard. Uh, yeah, not well shaven at all. Uh, Medium length hair, kind of slicked back. And so he's talking. They're Make a perception if you want to try to figure out what they're saying. This is hearing based. Yes. I'm not trying to read their lips. <laughs> I mean... If, if you want to go that route, that's more difficult. I'll try and listen. 14. Yeah, you can't. They're definitely, they they are speaking uh, your native language. So, I was Romani, is that actually what? Okay. Yeah, they're speaking Romani. And 
it's hard to hear, but you can. The best you can. The best you can sort of make out is you can't. He his pitch is so low that his words just blur together for you. But the other two uh, are basically, yes sir, yes sir. Uh, we'll we'll be on the lookout for her. Um, we believe her band is uh, maybe playing here, so we'll we'll find her. Yes, sir. Okay, that's what we'll do. And then they go to walk out the front door. Okay. Um, I guess I will look around the side so I, if I can tell where they're going after they leave the front door. Uh, head toward the stage. Okay. Then I will flag you guys down and let you know it might not be a great idea for us to uh, to actually perform. But we have... But- but, well, but before before you do that, before you sort of, are you trying to? Be, I need you to make a check to stealth away. Okay. Uh, but first, go ahead and uh, make a make a perception, mm-hmm. sight based. A sight based perception. Fourteen. You just barely see uh, in the shadows outside of the normal fairgrounds. Um, overlook like there were there's some trucks parked. You see blending in very well as you recognize you recognize the outline of London. Looks like he's leaning beside one of the trucks. Yes, he scares you and you drop your dice. Yes. <laughs> so frightened. Yeah, because he's he's just standing there staring at you and looking at the trailer. Does it look like he sees me or is he just staring generally at the trailer? You did have a really high looks like he's just staring at the trailer. Okay. Okay, then I'm gonna try and Sneak away. Okay. If I can find my dice. Don't get bit. Just <laughs> looking for like some mousy eyes or something. <laughs> Not as good this time. Sixteen. Yeah, because you <clears throat> you go to step step away and you step on a twig, <laughs> and when when you do, that's when then you hear a slight. <clears throat> You did make it up here without me noticing you, Liz. That is impressive. So is that the man your family fears? It's London speaking to you. Oh, he's close by. Mm-hmm. Okay. I thought that the way that you made no, it he's sound not, like... He's like not like that far, far away. away. Okay. Uh, yes, it is. I assume we're... Are we watching all of this go down? That's You guys are pretty far away, and she's on the other side of the trailer, oh, so wow. you would be able to see her. Okay, I'll just step into the shadows next to London, I guess. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't move an inch. You see, he's got his he's got his cane. He just looks like he's resting on, sort of leaning into the shadows by the truck. <coughs> A very, very dangerous one. That one. What do you know about him? From what I can glean, he is a supernatural being carrying a blessing of a dark god. And there was some sort of prophecy involving you. So, hey, I believe he wants you. I thought he wanted my mom. Uh, from what I can infer, I think he wanted your mom to try to get to you. Hmm. Well, I'm afraid that it might work. I don't know exactly what that prophecy was. I do wish I had that information very much. It seems important, but I don't know what that was. What's your business here at the fair tonight? Scoping out him, what the dangers of the transaction might be. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll see you around. Bye. Good luck. <laughs> What's Liz doing over there? <laughs> uh, I'm just like playing with uh, Ham's balloons. <laughs> hey, here you want one? Yeah, there can I have one? Right. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, Kenny, what's, uh, what's Liz doing over there? <laughs> I don't know, man. She's been gone a minute. I think we ought to go after her. Maybe. I mean, can we see? We can't, can, we can't see London or her. Mm-mm. I mean, it, it's, I guess, all, all in all, like five or six minutes before you finally see her around, around the corner. Okay. And then by then, Colin, um, yeah, Colin's back with a bunch of stuff, and they start, he starts setting up. Oh, you guys start heading up, setting up, and um, you just hams hams talking to you. So, what um, what kind of music are you gonna play tonight? <clears throat> bluegrass. I mean, we were just playing bluegrass, so it makes sense. We're nice and practiced up. Yeah, 
What would be strong against? I don't even. I mean, I'm assuming it's mariachi, mariachi type music, or is this piña or peña? Is it are these the Pineapple Brothers? Uh, it is Alexander. <laughs> <laughs> Alexander and Andrew Piña, P E N A. Peña, right? Yeah. Because piña is pineapple. Yeah. Well, unless, unless I don't know, I've, I've never heard him actually say it. Let me call Andrew real quick. On I hope it's the Pineapple Brothers. The pineapple. You know what? The that Brothers Pineapple. <laughs> if not, that's what we're calling ourselves. <laughs> All right. Then by the time you set up, then Liz makes it back over to you guys. Um. Hey, like my balloon? I do like your balloon. Thanks. <laughs> I'll share all the information that I just gathered. Oh, that's horrible. I I don't know if we should play. I think that... <laughs> We're in danger. <laughs> I don't know if it's be beneficial to go ahead and draw them out or... Yeah, let's what? maybe get those two guys you were talking about. I mean, I'm afraid that there's more than two, right? You only saw two in the room with him, but... But but you see, it looks like now you see London. Looks like he's walking out of the crowd toward you guys. Oh, what's that smell? Oh, hey, London. But does he? <laughs> what's that? You'll find out when you're. There. <laughs> well, might I be of assistance to you tonight? At what? At what? You playing safely? I yeah. figured we could just talk to the to the Pineapple Brothers and see if maybe we could settle it some other way. <laughs> Well, Ham said they're, they're nice they're, guys. They're scheduling it. They've scheduled a show. Someone's got to play. Yeah, it's, we're kind of contracted. Um, what, what, what are you offering, yeah, London? Different. What's your? How would you help keep Liz safe while we're on stage in front of all the people that are literally looking for her? Well, one, I do not think they will make a move tonight mm-hmm. with the exchange pending tomorrow. But should they, I would get involved. Who's paying you to do this? Uh, the retainer your father gave me. He works for you, technically. He, well, I, technically he works for Balthazar, but I mean his orders are to. If I'm if I ever need him, I don't know. <clears throat> I'll defer to Liz. This is kind of this is this is your call. I mean, even if they were to attack or do something, I mean. We're going to have to go up against them at some point. I feel like it would just be delaying the inevitable. That's a good point. And he knows that you're going to be here. Mm-hmm. So it is just a matter of time. And I'm with London in the sense that I don't think they're going to make a move right here, right now, in front of everybody. They'll probably bide their time, especially considering the transaction. Is They might see it as a, being in jeopardy if they did anything out, out, out of the ordinary tonight. Well, as jumpy as we are, it's not like they're going to surprise us. So what's the worst that could happen? They interrupt the show. We end up getting in the fight that we were going to get in tomorrow night either way, and we lose the band battle, which probably the lowest <coughs> problem on our problem list. Agreed. Is is Link here, or is he at the He's band? on stage. Link's- He's, he and Colin are setting up. Okay, okay. Uh, as far as the contract goes, Link would probably be... I mean, if we were going to not do the show then link would know the ins and outs of that i would hope i'd say we play i don't i don't think we have anything it's not that we don't have anything to worry about mm-hmm. i just don't think it's going to make any difference i think it's going to make things worse if we just decide not to play okay yeah so we may as well just do it and kind of roll with the punches if liz is on board with that let's do it and if that's the case then we don't need london's help I mean, right. we can't yeah. stop him from getting involved if they do something, but I don't want to be indebted to the guy. Right. I mean, we're not going to be indebted to him if your father is paying him, right? right. He's already being paid to do this. So. No. Fair enough. Do your job. Very well. That came out ruder than I meant it to be, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it's... So what exactly what are you going to do? Well, if they attempt to harm or influence... The show, I, I'll stop it in a as non-spectacular a way as possible. Okay. I'll hand him a balloon. Thank you. You're welcome. I do very much enjoy balloons. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't budgeted for these, so thank you. London has leveled up. 
He has learned. He has learned. He has learned the value of trivolity. Like innocence. And <laughs> glee. Uh, what are we going to play? So he walks away. And as soon as he walks away, you see that's when Ham steps up, white as a ghost. What's wrong? I'm sorry I gave that balloon away. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's what I can't believe. <laughs> <laughs> That balloon had all that balloon had all my power in it. Oh, I'll get it back. I'll get it back. <laughs> no, because he's he's shaking a little bit. You know that thing? Yeah. That's that's one of them. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, we know he's bad. We're not friends oh, with him. Oh, that's and that's one. I could. I know. I can feel what they are. I've never. I've only heard about. Ones like that, that can look like us, but that's that is definitely a thing from between the stars, without question. Mm. But they can't, they can't be here without some sort of anchor. Mm. They have to hold on to the. They have to take over something mm. to be here. Like that, like a body. Yeah, mm. but no, that is. That's one. I've never been so close to one like that. I've only seen them. We hide from them. Well, Liz is tangled with that one. Barely made it out of the out of the is, fight alive. Uh, I'm I'm damn impressed that you're alive. Wow. I want to ask Lionel if he's seeing all this. Is he? Does he have any idea what he what Ham's talking about? <gasps> it was evil. I know that. Yeah. I can sense that. An an enormous evil, like. A demonic level of evil. But Ham just shakes it off. <laughs> I figured you were well, fine, though, so I didn't say anything. <laughs> I figured you could add yourself. The best thing, I, I apologize. I was I was scared witless, to be perfectly honest. Um, but I think if you get up there and play, it's got st- to stay away. Have you ever found an anchor before? I've only heard about them. Hmm. I mean... I I was skeptic. I mean, they have they have to exist. I mean, I know of all the folklore and all the, Honestly, I probably have run into one before. I just didn't know it. That one was. It's radiating off of it, though. If you know what you're looking for. <clears throat> oh oh. Well, I'm sorry. Thanks for the information. Sorry to put you through that. Well, no. If that's the least, if if I if I can help you in any way, it's like, wow, well, wow. You, you kill that guy. That'd be all right. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm I mean, gonna, hey, I gotta see if I can get a hold of Ma Darling and tell her about that. That's, man, we're gonna have to deal with him at some point, I imagine. Well, or find find out his anchor and undo it. Mm-hmm. Just banish him. Maybe he was somebody. <laughs> <laughs> You're on a hot streak. You're on a hot streak, man. Just do it. I have a feeling he has a pretty high charisma score. <laughs> He carries himself as one who does. I believe there's a one on that dance. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. And I can twin it. <laughs> okay, it's not long before you um, you see bombastically striding up are two very large, muscular men, exactly the same height, exactly as muscular, wearing luchador masks, shirtless, wearing spandex pants with fire coming up the side. Only one is red and one is blue. And uh, bedazzled boots. And, yeah, they looks like they're carrying all sorts of instrument. Uh, I don't want to say bags, but cases. Cases, so I'm looking for them. Very flashy. Because they, they walk up, once they see, they recognize Ham, and they immediately run over, and Ham's like, oh, there they are. And there you there. You guys look strong. Yeah, they, they drop their stuff. Ah, yes! Hello, it is very, it is, it's good. You are, uh, all of you are the, um... What are we? <laughs> Freaky Friday, but name? with wolves. Freaky Friday, but with wolves. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good movie. It's a good movie. Yeah. I think it is out now, right? In 2000? Yeah. Yes. One version. Well, the right original, at least. The original. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> no, we are very we are very happy to be playing you. This sounds like great fun. Great. Yeah. Ham has had a lot of good things to say about you guys. So, well, nice well, to meet you. Well, yeah, yeah, yes. So, um, how, do you, how do we do this? How do we, how do we 
fight a band battle? Um, well, if you don't know, we just take turns. <laughs> I'm trying to think. It feels like it's been a really long time since we've had a band battle. But last time we just set up and play against each other, opposite sides. Okay. And whoever plays better wins. Okay. We can do this. Sounds great. And then hopefully the crowd loves it. Oh, then... they will love it. We will, we will put on a good show together. I believe. I do believe that very much. Yeah. Because you see the other one, brother, let's, let us lather up. Oh, yes. And they pull out baby oil and start rubbing all over each other. Can I have some? Yeah, of course. Thank of you. course. Would you, um, if you run out, we've got a jug, and I don't remember exactly what's in there. You only got some mayo. <laughs> if you need mayonnaise. <laughs> Cooking we, oil. Yeah. We bought that $4,000 uh, barrel of dollar by the barrel of lube of Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> I thought Amazon was a bookstore. <laughs> Is it at that point? It might be. <laughs> yeah, probably. eBay. I found it on eBay. eBay. <laughs> it stings a little, but I got a great price. <laughs> oh, but please, yes, anything, anything you guys need, come on. You are, you are a pretty one here. Here. <laughs> huh. Starts rubbing it on you. Looks good. I feel shiny. It's good. You it's, are shiny. It's good to be shiny. I rub it on my face. All right, looks like they... Here, Liz. <laughs> 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 oh, that was the mayonnaise. Shit, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I cannot, we're not vegan uh, anymore. I, didn't, I cannot help I but... I didn't um, make any mayonnaise. <laughs> shut up, Eve. <laughs> Kenny. Oh, said he, shut up, Kenny. I cannot help but notice you seem um, down. I wouldn't want oh. you to come in, come in down. Can we help you with anything? Uh, well, we just... We're dealing with some heavy... We just got some heavy news. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I apologize. Do you have any yeah, experience with fault. werewolves? Um, my brother has read a lot of books. I have read a lot of books about werewolves. Oh, yeah. They're pretty popular. Mm. Are you having a difficult bit of werewolf trivia you need help with? Because I, I am there. <laughs> uh, I think we got the basics covered on the trivia. Oh, well, okay. Well... There might be some here. Truly? Truly. Mm. Are I'll, they point, I'll point to the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> A big one in there. <laughs> like the one. And they're bothering you? Yes. Not yet. No. Well, the, these well, guys are going to run across can, well, the, no, the It definitely bothers yeah, me that there's yeah, a giant yeah, werewolf. Yeah, that one has bothered us. <laughs> <laughs> we, yeah. You want to go, talk you wanna go to right now? Sure. I'll go with you. <laughs> <laughs> we will go. We will tell them to leave you alone. If these, they are trying to bully and intimidate you, these guys it's a little are, complicated. These guys are just musicians. <laughs> they're they're very muscular luchador musicians. <laughs> if it turns out they're level 20 barbarians, that would be awesome. But <laughs> maybe monks. <laughs> it might be it might be it's a little com- it's a little more complicated than that. Uh and a little darker than that. Uh I don't know how much information I'm allowed to share, but someone very important to us her life is on the line, so we're kind of oh we're, no, we're, we're like forced to be discreet. Oh no, which is why we're about to get on stage and play music, right? Yeah, <laughs> and this is a non a non police matter. You know, we haven't tried. <laughs> we really haven't gone that route, have we? I thought about it earlier, but honestly, I just think it's going to get a lot of police killed. Oh, okay. I mean, they're. I mean, I'm not kidding. It's werewolves. <laughs> <laughs> and they they both nod. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. And I realize I'm just a 17 year old with a guitar and a. I'm 19, thank you. <laughs> no, I'm 17. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they look at Ham. This is true. You you support them as well. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I do. <laughs> Actually, yeah, they're 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 giving you the best possible version they can tell you. It's nope. I'm I'm helping them out quite a bit. Do they by any chance have the stars on any of their crates? They don't. But I think, honestly, I think the best way you can help them out is going up there and playing your hearts out, boys. Well, we will do this for you. Fantastic. And then that's when you guys, yeah, you can each go up there and start setting up, getting dressed, and putting on your final preparations. All right. Get my realtor jacket out, my uniform. There you go. Want to wheel out the Dragazord? <laughs> I got I to... Gotta... 
got to rip the uh, poster off the front of my drums. Somebody give me some spray paint. <laughs> Shit. And, the sti- and the stickers on your guitar. And <laughs> <laughs> the T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think they, the Dragon's Order is wearing a t-shirt, maybe. The guy, the, the guy from Kinko shows up, I got those styles and posters. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, not right now, not right now. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, because the um, with Colin there, then you have the Dragon's Order is there behind you. You see all sitting on uh, the Dragon's Order, then Irvin Frog is there, and so he's got that, got that pipe in his hand, mm. ready to go. Uh, you summoning a weasel? Uh, I will summon something. I can't choose, but yes. Okay. Blackbeard. Please be Blackbeard. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of hope it's Magoo, actually. Or a brand new animal we can name. Mm-hmm. That is a good point. <laughs> <laughs> it's good when Miller laughs. <laughs> Speedy. <laughs> <laughs> It, it's We're as far. Back. It's as far as I know. The only thing on this list that isn't an actual animal. It's an axe beak. Oh, God. <laughs> like at least any of the other animals, it could be like, oh, it's a circus egg. This is like, what? what's the dinosaur doing here? <laughs> yeah, you pull out like it looks like an ostrich with a. But looks like an, a beak that's made of an axe. <laughs> cool. <laughs> what are we gonna name him? Beaky. <laughs> Beaky. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Beaky, get on stage and dance. <laughs> Quark. <laughs> Quark. <laughs> Beaky. Beaky doesn't dance. Beaky slaughters. <laughs> Yeah, you see a bunch, of, at, especially at that, a bunch of the crowd starts gathering up, <laughs> and the brothers Pena look at each other. Whoa, God, that is amazing! You guys have a theme. We're eclectic. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're right. Well, whatever's gonna happen is gonna happen. You, you guys are Fraser's apartment, <laughs> and we're the mall. <laughs> Abiki, that's the chair. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and use all my. All my uses of it while we're here. Okay. <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> Please, more axe peaks. <laughs> A trio. <laughs> I rolled six axe peaks. Oh, there's your problem. The switch is left the st- it's on, stuck on axe peaks. <laughs> now, now we get a black bear. <laughs> okay. And finally, an ape. All right, so Magoo shows up there. <laughs> shows up. But then the bear shows up, and then Ham's like, oh, yeah, that's a, that's a bear. Yeah. <laughs> it's Billy Bear. <laughs> Billy Bear. <laughs> Beaky Billy Bear and Magoo, <laughs> along with the dragon sword. <laughs> Magoo met Skeletor. <laughs> he did. <laughs> well, this conversation gets more normal by the minute. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one day you can meet my giant weasel named Black Peter. <laughs> and Urban Frog just like, I tongue crank. <laughs> it's true. I yeah. seen it. I seen it. You guys all are up on stage getting, everybody looks like prepared. And it looks like Ham's the one who comes out and has the the microphone. Well, hello, Paducah. Ham! I kn- <laughs> I know uh, y'all who might have come out last night saw me play the Silver Saddle. Woo, um, Silver Saddle! I heard. I, I gotta confess, I kind of I strained some stuff, so I'm not gonna be able to really perform tonight. I apologize, and there's a booth throughout Aww. the stage. I know. I promise you, I have something far better than me, and that would be, of course, my two esteemed groups of friends. I'll introduce first the brothers De La Pena. Who play some of the best merengue music you've ever heard in your life? And it looks like they start flexing and they're shiny. They're doing a full Armstrong from Full Metal Alchemist kind of stuff. <laughs> Ginyu Force, Dragon Ball Z. Mm. And then, of course, my very good friends who who <laughs> I met last night and I'm very impressed with Freaky Friday, but with wolves. And you see some people, there's recognition that goes throughout the crowd and they cheer. Do, do any of the carnies turn around at, with wolves? 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, everybody. While while he's talking, I can make a, a perception. <laughs> a visual. One. A visual perception. 13. 15. Do we get advantage for being up 26. on stage? 26. Yeah, everybody does have a big... Yeah, go ahead and roll for the advantage. I think that's fair. Roll the three. Have? 26. 20. The bright lights, 26. however, make you have to roll at a disadvantage because <laughs> you can't see anything past the edge of the stage. Uh, 24. You guys do see... Yeah, everybody, you guys can make out. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> <We're gonna laughs> <really I'm here. laughs> All right. And there's... You do once you start looking, you see, and if Liz pointed out, you know the way they looked, what they're dressed. You see several of them intermixed throughout the stay, uh, the the crowd, and then there are other people who aren't looking like them, um, showing particular interest, and they don't look pleased. Uh, you can also spot actual the black wolves, sort of on the outskirts, but at the far far back, definitely towering overing. Everybody else standing about like seven two, seven three, is you see a man who matches that picture in the far back, just just standing there. Looks like he's clapping his hands with a big smile. Is that the kingpin? <laughs> that's, that's who I thought it was when he's describing it. Is I thought of kingpin. Yeah, he's 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 built muscular, so he's not like heavy like kingpin, but yeah, he's Spider Verse kingpin. Could be Spider Verse yeah. <laughs> Kingpin. That's an intimidating dude. That's a being scary being dude. Rain's Kingpin, mm. but he's dressed. He looks. He's he's more reminiscent of like just a giant Negan from Walking Dead. Yeah, but he's he's smiling. He's got very. You make back from here. He's got very white teeth. Clapping. He's clapping on his teeth. And then, <laughs> <laughs> his ass is clapping. <laughs> well, without further ado. <laughs> Let's have a band battle. So we will start off. So the way the band battles work, I know it's been a minute. Mm -hmm. So I'll go ahead. Everybody make a performance check that is going to set your HP. Go ahead and mark through Speedy's HP here. It was 210. (laughs) Rolled two eights. 15 for me. 15? Mm. Oh, You rolled twice? I have a guitar suit. Ah, I get advantage on performance yeah. checks. Nice. I rolled a three, so that's ten for me. Uh, I rolled an eleven, which is a fifteen for me. I rolled a two, Oof. which is eleven. I do have a blue chip I could use. I don't know if it's important enough to just sprout. You can't. It's up to you. Mm, mm. I've got a red one. I don't want you to use a blue one. If we're gonna, well, the red you gonna reroll yours. Oh, yeah, like you, red only yeah, rolls only for me. That's yeah. right. Blue, I forgot. You, can re- you have to use a blue to roll somebody else's. Yep. But why? Oh, why do? We, why would that? Uh, okay, I forgot how band battles work. Is it collective HP? Like we? Yeah. What? We add well, it all I'm up? adding it all together. Okay. That's your HP. I might be able to get. I can get higher than a fifteen. I think. Yeah. So if if I give you a red chip, do I get to make it with advantage again? Yeah. Or do, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. We roll your exact yeah, same roll, stuff. Would you mind passing that? Thank you. Roll a seven. <laughs> <laughs> Roll an eight. <laughs> Fifteen. It's all fixed point in time. It really, yeah. It's not meant to be any higher than that. So should I should I use the blue chip? Because that's we could potentially get up to eighteen more hit points. Or is this important enough that maybe we should save chips for I think save the blue chip. Because I mean, like as we discussed earlier, like I mean this is important. The band battle is important, but like compared to everything else, yeah. If we right. lose this battle, we won't be dead. Yeah, losing this isn't going to end us. So I think we're okay. That's for the band battle, you guys will have fifty-one hit points, and we have damage reduction. This is true. That could help us. We might need to play this defensively. Does rage work? Does rage work for a band battle? Yeah, for one it. round, you'll take half damage. Okay. So however many rages you have, that's how many times you can use that ability. Right, okay. But we can use other abilities instead. Yep. All right, we choose so, one, right? Yeah, but so far, Rage has been by far the best. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's Because right. we talk about using sneak attack. Because mm-hmm. we take damage collectively as well. Yeah, it's that's that right. Cool. That's right. All right. So let's see. So we determined your HP. So what we'll do is, the as the drummer normally does the countdown, the drummer determines initiative. So initiative, One, two, three, four. <laughs> initiative is super important to try to get an ability off first. 
So we'll, we go initiative roll, then we'll determine your AC by the bass player, and then your attack roll by the lead singer, and then the ability check by the lead guitar. All right, so we'll go ahead. For first round's initiative, so roll opposing initiative with Alex Pena. Is it opposing initiative? We don't use performance at all? Well, it's, well yeah, you're using your perform as initiative. Okay. So everybody's using your special perform check, which is right. perform with your special modifier, but any other bonuses and everything you might have. Got it. 19. What is your... What's your... What modifier do you use? Constitution. Constitution. What's your modifier? 20? Mm-hmm. Okay, you go first. You guys tied, so... All right, and then determine your AC for the round, for round one. All right, so I roll... How do I roll this? You just make a perform check, and that's your AC. Okay. A little better. Uh, nine. All right, and then we'll go ahead and your attack. What what music are you guys playing? It has to be uh, Werewolves of London, right? The bluegrass version. The bluegrass version. Using bluegrass, okay. Yeah. So Werewolves of London. Blue, blue, bluegrass. <laughs> I, I mean, what else egg? are you gonna like? <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> and then go ahead. We'll make your attack roll. Hungry like the wolf. Bluegrass version. <laughs> oh, I just like Eleven. including London. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. We're all rolling poorly. Yeah, definitely. Because as you both of you start playing, you summon Chief Paduk in all his glory, and they summon a a god emperor statue, a giant golden version of them that is flexing in front of Chief Paduk. Oh, that's impressive. And yeah, Chief Paduk. Well, let's see, go ahead and make your ability roll too. Seventeen. You get to use an ability. They don't get to use one. Right? Rage. Yeah, I think, I think that's a good idea. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so Chief Paduke's eyes flare red and he starts to rage, but he goes to attack and uh, the, the, the the god emperor looks like he just flexes his muscle and repels the the attack. Okay, and then you're, they, they get to use the ability for the round. Or you get to use the ability for the round, so you're raging, so now through... Your next turn, stay make an attack against your AC. And they hit. You're playing Bluegrass and Moringe who don't have any sort of... Opposing. Yeah, kind of neutral neutral toward, toward each other. And do five. Yeah, because it looks like it flexes and leans back and punches Chief Paduke in the face for five points of damage. Is that after damage reduction? Oh, I'm sorry, it is not. Two points of damage. 49. Okay, second round. Initiative. 20. 20. There you go first. Let's go ahead and roll for AC. 14. No, sorry, sorry. 13. Let's see. Go ahead and we'll make attack rolls against each other. 18. 18. Both of you hit each other. Go ahead, let's make a posing ability roll. You go first. 15. If you use an ability, I rolled three. So what ability would you like to use? I assume rage again, since they're getting an attack. I mean, we're both attacking. Then we can get the benefit of a stronger attack and the damage reduction, right? Can we use sneak attack? Yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. we'll and just... That would give us an extra 5d6 of damage? Mm-hmm. Yep. And that not be bad to do that once just to see how effective it is. I don't think I can only rage three times. Okay. Can it be any of the abilities that we have? Like, what's the limitation? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whatever abilities you guys have, special special abilities. What about evade? We could deal more damage with sneak attack, or we could evade damage. I think is that for is that for AOE attacks or? But you, yeah, you guys are getting used to special abilities, so you know they're not they're not going to get to. So if you could, well, evasion's a hard one to try and use. I'm okay with being a little bit. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's, I mean, if you guys are okay with that, I think yeah. that's probably the move. Because, mm-hmm. I mean, if they're doing, if they dealt five, I don't know if they might have 
that might be a weak attack for them, but right. still we can really capitalize on yeah. this attack. Great. Okay, sneak attack. All right, go ahead and so roll for damage. Who rolls for damage? Okay. She just, it's just the attack she can roll. Um, that's her. It's her can I borrow ability. A D6? Mm-hmm. I hope it does well. I'm gonna watch it. It did average. <laughs> Seventeen. That's a hit. Big yeah, hit. because basically it almost like Chief Paduke fakes out the God Emperor because they both take that hit and then a root comes out and just jabs him in the in the business. The Duke root. The Duke <laughs> root. <laughs> Write it down. Yeah, I did. Bend, the Duke root. Bends over, yelling. Ooh. Hits you guys for five points of damage. Pinky Billy and a goo are just dancing. <laughs> just dancing. Like go go dancers. <laughs> <laughs> boots. They're lime dancing, actually. <laughs> So yeah, you can capitalize on any of that stuff and tell me how you want to use it if you get to use the ability. So then we'll go ahead and initiative. 18. You guys go first. So we'll set AC for the round. 22. Nice. Very good. All right. So let's let's go ahead and use the ability. Let's do the ability first. That way we'll know how the attack's going to proceed. Okay. 22. 22. I rolled a four, so we get to use your ability. I think it's. I think we it's should sneak do it attack again. time again. Yeah, yeah for sure. I think we, with that AC, with that AC, yeah. I think we're gonna have yeah. a better shot at damage as opposed to defense. So sneak attack. Okay. So make your attack roll. Nineteen. Hit. So attack after you. They just barely. Well, for damage. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nicole was reaching over, like trying not to disturb Dave, like she's afraid. That's my favorite. Am I supposed to roll more damage or just the sneak attack? I uh, just you think, or you roll one one d six plus your proficiency modifier, and then you can roll the extra damage. Uh, so uh, I roll a six, so nine, and then nineteen for a sneak attack. <laughs> I rolled really well for the, their HP, but you're mowing through it now. Okay, initiative. 25. Damn, yes, you go first. And AC. Ooh. Sorry, guys. Seven. Okay, so roll for the ability roll. You go first. 21. No, the ability is negated. I rolled a 19. Nice. So, but basically, since they didn't get to go first, basically all they do is negate yours. So if they need to go first to prop their ability, so really that just evens it out. So then regular attack roll. 24. Hit. And then six. All right. Initiative. It's 17. They go first. Go ahead and establish both our ACs. Jesus. Six. All right, then you're going to try to you make your roll of trust stop their ability from proccing. Okay. Uh, 25. What's your ability modifier? Uh, charisma, which is a four. <laughs> Reroll all the way around. Tied. Yep. Tied up. Tied yeah. straight up. 21 this time. Now their ability goes off. Okay. So they, it looks like they back back up and run and do a a flying elbow, or do they do a Hogan leg drop on the Chief Badoo. So you also have to make an attack roll, so you want to make attack rolls. 13. Miss. There's hits. Fifteen points of damage. Ooh, that hurt. That's our HP. Was forty nine. Fifty one. We took two damage. Thirty four. Step it up. <clears throat> thirty four, and they are at thirty three. All right. New round. Initiative. Twenty eight. You go first. 
seats. Ten. God, I'm going bad for armor. Ability. Ability. <laughs> 21 again. You proc it. What ability would you like to use? Should we use rage this We should time? use rage because we've got a really low AC. We're at 10. Okay, yeah. I've got a mean one in case stuff gets real bad. Get ready to get mean. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm running out of rage, so get ready to get mean. Raging for half, okay. I don't know how it's going to work, but... Make attack rolls. It's mean. 11. Hit. We both roll poorly. Uh, 9 damage. And we got... We want initiative, right? Yes. Okay, and then we get extra damage for rage, right? Do we get extra damage for rage or just defense? Just defense, yeah. Did you, how much damage to them, you said? Nine? Nine. Okay. Five, two. That's a half. Oh, no, you're right. Two. Two damage. All right. Round seven, initiative. 27. Nice. You go first. Rolling hot. Base. We'll better that time. 18. Nice. Yes. All right, ability time. 25. You get the ability that goes off. Sneak attack this time? I think probably. I'm good with that. Everybody is. Sneak attack? Okay. 24. Nice. So yeah, with that, with that last one, you see this is still probably the closest band battle you've had so far. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that last one, when you get that one sneak attack and then... One looks like he goes to do a, uh, a a people's elbow, not expecting the the Duke root to come back again and do <laughs> do thousand years of death onto <laughs> onto the God Emperor that just launches it up the statue up and it explodes into golden dust. You guys having won your third successful band battle Huzzah. and getting the power of Moringe, which is very light and energetic and fun. I like it. And you see, but the the brothers Pina, both there, the crowd is cheering and going nuts. They're they're happy, run over to you and pick you up. Yeah, dude, they're they're, pose. they're just as happy. <laughs> they eagle you scrub yeah. style. Scream! <laughs> <laughs> see, Ham Ham is laughing. The sudden sudden joyous burst of energy. I'll give her a who's ripping somebody's arms off. <laughs> <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> <laughs> we I want to reference a movie, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> he killed Luke. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Luke was back Luke, there with I'm cotton sorry, candy, oh clapping along. Like, you know, oh life's God. not that oh, bad. He was a pedophile <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll give everybody 2,000 experience points. All right. When did you say I leveled up? 34. Just hit it. There we go. I don't know what more we've got left for the night. Um, I can do it next time. Okay. I'll figure it all out. Yeah. But I'm at eight now, I think. Yeah, eight. Yeah, you see everybody Everybody cheers, and um, they're talking, dancing, and then kind of keep going along their way. See, uh, but once everything kind of calms down, you guys are backstage. The ham just comes up. That was, yeah, that was excellent. Thanks. I yeah, think that, that is, fun. that's a good bit of music that keeps the keeps the things from the stars away. You know, the like, merengue. Yeah. yeah like, I mean, any any I like any music helps. Yeah. Music that you can play with passion, but that kind of music is also particularly abrasive to them. Well. uh now that we got that, what's your next step with that thing? What, what, do, you, what do you think? What is our next step with that thing? Because I would, I'd like to, I like to help you if I can. I don't know. I don't want to do anything too drastic until we got my mom. Mm-hmm. So. So that's the next step then. Yeah. yeah. Get your mom. Yeah. So that that thing has your mom, man. Yes. Okay. Man, I'm sorry. That's. It just it just has her. It's not. It hasn't. I'm sorry. I'm just shocked that hasn't just killed her. I've never known where the things to operate on that level of tact. I mean, he seems pretty restrained. And based on what you told us, 
I mean, he's looking for you, right? Yeah. Capturing her, probably just a means to get you. Yeah, that's, well, that's what we think. You're talking about London. London. Yeah, one. That's, not, that's what yeah. oh, I'm it goes sorry. as. I misunderstood. For the trade. Yeah, I see. Because I, I thought the way you did at first, and I was like, what are you going to do about that thing? Well, we're probably going to have to kill it because it's huge and a werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> he, made, yeah. he meant London. You caught up quicker than I did. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I got it now. So the 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 beast from between the stars has your mother and he's trading her to the werewolf. Yeah, that's about the Yep. Long and hairy of it. That is a sentence I didn't think I'd ever utter. <laughs> it happens a lot around us. <laughs> but that is wow. That's a lot of different forces of the world that don't normally interact <laughs> interacting. Yeah, it's almost like fate. On a large scale, just clicked in place all at once. Hmm. You, you hear a chuckle somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, all right. Well, when is so? When is this supposed to go down? Tomorrow. All right. Well, I mean, we think everybody's here right now. <laughs> I mean, I can if you give me some time to go home, and I want to see. I don't know if they have anything that they could. The home would have to help. I don't. I probably don't have much against a werewolf, but we've got silver pizzas for that. So it's silver pe- pizzas. I mean, I guess, okay. I guess if you tricked them into eating the pizza, all oh, num nums. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> have you ever thrown a pizza at a dog? They're gonna eat it. <laughs> okay, that's fair. <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> you don't know that. <laughs> all right. Well, unless you're wanting to do something about it now. I mean, if you feel like if you feel like you need time, then I think we should give you that time. I mean, if it's gonna, well, I hate if I don't know what I could bring. I would just tell, I just tell the you know our leader and see what what she might have. You can borrow she, my phone, but she might not have that. Uh, that won't work. I'll have to actually <laughs> go jump in her door and go home. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, but she might not have anything. We've never actually encountered one of those, so I'd also hate to. I mean, if it's holding your mother. You know, not have to have her. Well, I mean, he's had her for, I don't know, several days at this point. So I think that if there's any chance that you might have something to help us, then I'm willing to wait. All right. Let me, I'll go, I'll go home and see if they have anything in particular, any bit of knowledge, any bit of weaponry, any bit of talent, you know, that like we can bring to bear. Maybe a Vorpal banjo. I'm pretty. Yeah, go. <laughs> goes, pretty goes, sweet. Go, you play it, it goes twing or twack. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, I'll, I'll do that and try to be back as, as soon as possible then. Whew. All right. Well, I mean, God, God bless you guys. Man. And Paylor bless you, sir. And anything we can do to help as well. You can see both both the brothers come up. Thank you. We, we are very strong. Trust us. I, yeah, <laughs> you lifted me up. But you guys, you guys are you're better players than we are. It was very impressive. Uh, I, I feel like it could have gone either way. Well, it was a good battle. What was it? We had thirty. No, we had. Well, you had us down to thirty-three from seventy-eight. So just, we're good. <laughs> <clears throat> well, uh, are you going to be around for a couple of days? No, we will be here. Yes. Okay. Yeah. If you. Wouldn't mind hanging out tomorrow. We can meet you back here. and Yes, we will do this thing. Perfect. That sounds great. Thank you. All right. Yeah, because Ham just, all right, I'm going to go ahead and go go now. Um, anything I can do for you in the meantime? Where will you be if I can come back any earlier? Uh, we'll probably be sleeping in that van is my guess. <laughs> <laughs> in the van down by the river? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It'll be parked in front of the Urban Cobb Hotel? Yeah, the parking lot's protected. So Okay. Yeah, that's where we'll be. Okay. Eat, eating pizza and drinking Surge. Uh-huh. <laughs> surge and pizza? You want to come with us? Do you have plans for tonight? No, that no, sounds please, excellent. Please yeah. come with us. All right. Please come with us. Yes. Party. <laughs> All right. Well, then I'm going to go, and I'll be back as as soon as I can. Thank you. If not, please, uh, when you get up, give me a call. If I'm not around, then. Okay. All right. Hey. Looks like Is, he... do, you need, do you need anything no. that would help you? No, I think they should have everything at home. And it looks okay. like he just looks over at um, the door, the front door of the haunted house, 
And whenever he looks at it, you see a star appear, and he goes up and runs through it. And as soon as he shuts it, the star disappears. <coughs> He's pretty good at doors, huh? I'm just imagining this old guy in overalls with balloons tied to him, turning and sprinting into the haunted house. <laughs> Move! <laughs> Move, y'all! You're the only person who would probably remember, but I do you remember Scotty Henson? It sounds familiar. He was a Marshall kid. Like when you described him, like that's him. <laughs> he is a guitar player. Like he used to play in the, the uh, what's the the place there in Draftonville, the Kentucky Opry. He would always oh, play there. Oh, okay. And he wore overalls and a white shirt and had white hair and like. It just, <laughs> I thought at first you were basing him on that guy. <laughs> Maybe I am subconsciously. Yeah. Well, then uh, that prime. Um, we'll go ahead and call it there then. And then next session, well, unless there's anything you guys want to do, and next session will be the penultimate big stream of battles. I feel like we got a lot done tonight doing a shortcutting a boss battle and then doing a band <laughs> battle. So <laughs> pretty, pretty, pretty good. So uh, thanks for listening, everybody. You can find the show on iTunes, not SoundCloud, Stitcher, Spotify, Audible, all, all over the place. Uh, let's see. Got a whole lot to go through, but most importantly, I just want to go and roll right into that Patreon. Yeah, we do have a Patreon. Uh, a lot of people donate money to us every month to help keep the podcast going, and uh, we're really grateful for that. We also have a very select few group of folks who donate $20 or more per month to the cause, and that's so greatly appreciated. I feel the least we could do is read their names on the show giving them the recognition they deserve. So without further ado, I'm going to read that list now, starting with Cousin David Galino, Plinko Nick Price, Cubicle Monkey, Enthusiast Jeff Miners, Master Cycle Baron Kevin Link, Joseph Phillips, Gamebug Prime Nathan Eaton, Usurper Grimm, Matt Gentile, a.k.a. Gentle G, Princess Consuela, Banana Hammock, Flavor Trick, Taryn Landon, Doll, congratulations on your marriage, uh, Pinball Archmage Chris Edler, we're sorry you couldn't be on this episode. Platinum member Brett Miller, Sandwich Pope Phil Hawkins, Nate from Utah, first time caller, Drinksmith, and and finally, last but not least, I should say, Drinksmith Joey Webster. Uh, we have a new donor this month, Mitchell. Thank you so much for your donation, and um, additional thanks goes out as always to. Our backlog banisher, Dane, who freely gives up his time every single week to make sure our show gets onto the YouTube. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. And if you want to donate, get your ass to pisstasters.com. It's piss with two S's. <laughs> Legitimately, pisstasters.com. <laughs> That's a real thing. You Type can it use in to get there. <laughs> Type or it in your browser. If See you're at work, <laughs> if you're at work, patreoncom slash right. Open up the your same VPN place. and a tour browser, but in pisstasers.com. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your FBI agent knows already what you're into. It's fine. <laughs> They're not gonna be surprised. Your, yeah, your HR department, on the other hand. Uh, and My then also, sense. just as always, thanks in general to the community for your support. Thanks yes. for listening. Yes. Uh, thank you, everyone who joins us every day on the Discord, bit.ly yes. slash Tadpog Discord. That, um, that needs a vanity domain. We definitely badly. need to do that. So. Um, come on out. Visit with us. We're there all the time hanging out. Uh, we love your feedback and uh, can't wait to hear from you on there. So spread the word. Let everybody know about Tadpog. Bring, bring them into the fold. Uh, if you want to send us something, you just send that to Tadpog Studios, care of Nicole Nance, Box 3785, Paducah, Kentucky, 42002, or give us a call, 270-883-2555. Mm-hmm. So our theme song for this is Mess by Anamata Gucci. You find the track to that and any of those creative license uh, tracks I used, like the Bluegrass last time, uh, that's all in the show notes. How do you guys want to close this one out? As Luke. As Luke. All right. It's a sad and broken accused pedophile. (laughs) So until next time. (laughs) I was going to take your Trump sticks. Wait, 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 wait. Awesome show. Thanks. Um, But now that we've driven home that wolves thing. Thanks for setting up. We want to keep that. Oh, no, it's my job. That's why Dane pays me the medium dollars. Yeah, I get that. But uh, 
But yeah, if we've already kind of that Wolves point driven at home, do we want to change it up now? Um, could we name the band Luke's Not a Pedophile? I mean, we could. That's the thing we could do. <laughs> yeah, that would probably help Luke out, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe Luke, Luke's Luke not didn't a kid do lover. any of the things I said. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> or real mummy fake kid lover. <laughs> <laughs> or yeah, I do like that. the pineapple bros. <laughs> or what the fuck is a dinosaur doing here? <laughs> <laughs> or Paduke Root. The Duke Root. The Duke Root is pretty good. I like that one. Yeah. Or or the Brothers Pineapple. The Brothers Pineapple. But we 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 would be then excluding our that's right. That is true. Our sister. The siblings pineapple. <laughs> the siblings have pineapple the same doesn't, doesn't ring. Does yeah. So Paduke root. I the, like Paduke root. Paduke root. I Paduke also like root. real mummy. Fake <laughs> good lover. <laughs> I don't want to push that too hard. It's I know. definitely my favorite. I know. Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah. Girl same. <laughs> yeah. The so Duke Paduke root. root. Okay, mm-hmm. cool. I can, do, I can work with that. All right, awesome. Okay. I bet you can. All right, see you guys in the morning. Okay.